All right. How's it going, everybody? Do I need to turn down the music? I think I'll turn it down just a notch. 35. All right. Hey, all you cats and kittens. Welcome back to another part of the ongoing horror, horror hardcore Minecraft horror hardcore modded Minecraft series that I started doing near the beginning of October and I don't think I'm going to stop anytime soon. I really want to be able to um, get to 100 days as the, uh, you know, as the standard bar that everybody goes for. Um, best I've done is 15. There's no sleeping. So getting through the night means that we uh, read from Clive Barker's Book of Blood. Um, we're on volume one right now. And uh, on the second story, the I think it's the Yattering. Yeah, the Yattering and Jack. It's been good so far. Um, yeah, we're going to go as long as I can tonight is mostly the plan. Um, I mean, I think I made to 15 days. I think I made it in five hours, <laughs> which makes sense. That's about, oh, gotta be careful not to touch my nose. Um, which makes sense because that's, that's three, three days an hour because each day is about 20 minutes. So the daytime feels like it goes by so fast. Um, but yeah, we'll see how far I can persist on this life. Uh, we are at world 19 and with a personal best of 15 days. And this is day one on world 19. We had just created the world, looked around partially in a jungle, which is terrible on the, on system resources. Uh, but I'm going to try to run away from the jungle as quickly as possible and, uh, see if we can go from there. Let's, let's dig in. I consider playing some spooky or creepy horrorish games um, tonight, but I think this is... I've been really enjoying this series, and I wanted to read from the Books of Blood anyway, and that's already spooky enough. We're just going to keep doing this, but I do have a bunch of horror games I want to dig into as well, so... I mean, Halloween doesn't have to be the excuse, is all I'm saying. All right. Oh, oh yeah, we're getting some, we're getting some glitches. Let's see if I can get off of this. Don't need that. I don't want to punch. Ooh, I don't want to punch the wood, like punch my way down, because that would, um, that would take a long time. Longer than I really have. <gasps> okay. Okay. That's not so bad. Curious about this temple thing that I'm seeing here. Oh, I hear zombies already. That one's a bit close by. Is that a gorilla? Hell yeah. Hey, bud. Hope you don't have the rage virus. Okay. Oh man, I need to get away from this jungle. <gasps> wow. This will be probably the quickest run. Mm-hmm. Why would anybody go down that chute? That just seems like a bad time. <gasps> oh shit! Oh no, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> this is real fast. Help me, gorilla. Hey, here's a turtle. Help. Help. Please, please help. I know you're grumbling. Oh, okay. I'm still alive. I need food, though, desperately. Is that a building? 
I gotta go for it. Shit. Shit. Zombie nurse. You can't get through that, right? Oh, you can. Oh, you can. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on. What the freak is the door? Oh, it's up here. It's up here. Yeah. Hey, guys. Wait. Aha. Uh -huh. There. Okay, you... Oh, shit. You're not going to have any food. Well, that's something. Hey. Okay. Don't like that. They get into the house? They get into the... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> just run. Just fucking go. Just fucking go. Oh. Do, are they right behind me? No? Nothing's about to kill me? I need tools. I need, I need to start. What are you do? No, no, you're bringing them. No. Ah! <laughs> I got one piece of wood. Oh, there's some stone right there. I can't stop. I got to lose this nurse. Oh, this guy's made it pretty far. He's going for it. Yeah, I don't blame you, bud. I don't blame you. I don't think the cave's a good idea, though. I think it's a bad time. Okay, I think we're clear. I need... Oh. Okay, it's just rhinos. Okay, I need... Fuck! Something just scared me, so I'm running this way. Don't mind me, rhinos. Can I have this wood, though? Would you... Are you gonna care... Oh, whoa, glitch, 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 glitch. Can I just get by real quick? Thanks. Damn it. Damn it. I'm gonna die. Can I have a regular animal, please? Something I can eat. Oh my goodness. I am so surprised I'm alive, but yeah, I've I've run out of stamina. Okay, thankfully it doesn't look like there's any zombies around. I'm gonna just get this wood. That'll be a good start. We're gonna need that for sure. Okay. Ooh, this is really hard to see. that okay okay that's something is yes, there should be some more coal I'm gonna need that so one more yeah. Let's grab just a little bit of... Oh, I don't need rail. Shit. I already got junk. I'm not going to find better wood this way than this. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. <laughs> okay. I am a hungry person with an axe. You don't give me meat, so get away from me. Shit. I can't run. I'm gonna be so screwed.
Oh, this. Is it just the sheep? Yeah, 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 sheep. Fuck you, sheep. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck. Can't waste arrows. There we go. Okay. That mutton's going to be great later. <laughs> I need... Ooh, I'm going to need stone... I mean, I suppose I could make a campfire. Yeah, I'll make a campfire and not worry about stone quite yet, though. I would love to get stone tools. I'm running out of daylight. I'm gonna need to cut some more trees. I'm trying to, like, side eye the. What's that? There's a little holding cell that way. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, I hate this. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I had a light. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's a city over there. We don't want to go that way. Let's see if, how high up this hill I can make it. The more height, the better. Hello, emu. I want nothing to do with you. Don't kick me. Holy shit. Can I make it? Yeah. Ooh. Hello. Leather waiting to be hap waiting to happen. Oh, what we got? What we got? Cool. I can hardly see what I'm doing here. I'll take the whole chest. Yeah, that's fine. Hey. I'm sorry. Before the zombies come. I got one. Oh my goodness. Come here. Cow. Shit. Shit. It's getting dark. Okay. We gotta go up. I can't believe I'm still alive. I can't see even what I'm doing, but I can tell I'm going up. Fuck. Okay. Okay, I'm plenty up. Oh. Yeah, I'll use this wool. Do a little bit of the outside. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Shit, I didn't mean to do that either. Okay. I have the smallest platform. Let's get just a little bit of light. Okay. You can see what I'm doing now. I need a workbench. I can do this. I can do this. There it is. Campfire. Also. Fucking backpack early. That's great. Okay. Uh I don't ooh, I don't have a lot of room. Hold on. Still bleeding and everything. Uh Okay. Wow. Um, here. Well, I'll make sure I don't lose anything I cook. I'm gonna put it like right here.
Oh my goodness. Of course, I just wiped my makeup off. That's not too bad. Okay, I want to catch it over on this side. Come on, don't catch on fire. I will die. There we go. Oh, oh one went over. God damn it. Okay, one more on the bar, Harvey. <laughs> Just look at the moon. Eat my meat as zombies can hear me. There we go. There we go. Oh. From the brink of death. What a what a bad start. But also, I have a backpack and I do have some armor, so it's not terrible. I also have feathers. So if I can get some flint, I can actually make some more arrows too, which ain't too bad. Oh, I have oh, I have leftover leather. Oh, um. Oh sweet. Please, please don't go over the edge. Oh my goodness. This am right here. Close as I can get. Uh, absorb into me. There we go. Full health. Here I come. There we go. One, two, three. All right. I think I can safely kill this. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just want to double check what the upgrades were. I think there was one that was really good. That was... Um, this one. Crafting upgrade. Oh, that's going to take iron. Okay. I have a lot of things to get before that, but this would let me be able to just open my backpack inventory and craft without having to set down a crafting bench, which is super handy. Okay. Oh, yeah. I want a pair of... Oh, I have a bunch of iron. Sweet. Oh, I don't have any sticks left right now. Shit. Let's see if I can reclaim some wood. Nope. 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 Damn it. Ah. Come on, one more. All I need. Fuck. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, axe, 100%. <laughs> okay. Um, I could make a shovel. That would be super efficient, but very short-lived, but... Might be an easy way to get a bunch of dirt blocks if I need it. Okay, let's pack the saddle away for now. That is only going to come in handy if I find a anvil. Oh, I have no more. So if I can reclaim some wood, I'm going to make that many more torches and I'll save the rest. That's just garbage. Let's throw that away. This is food. Hey. Pack that away. Pack that away. This might come in handy. Kind of garbage. Block of quartz. Kind of garbage. Okay. Space is very limited. Inventory management's a must in survival horror. Okay, that feels pretty good. What is happening? Oh, 
Oh boy. Okay. Um, let's see. Is the moon setting? The moon setting. We're not reading on this first night. First night was a lot of survival, get shit done. But I got the book queued up. Mm. I can get some of that wood. Huh? Okay. That's okay. Mm. I'm just feeding the zombies my wood. Crazy. Okay, it's gonna be dawn soon. Yeah, I can start starting to see the terrain. Oh boy, I'm surprised they don't see me. There's a fuck load of them. Oh boy. So I increase the mob cap. That was a that was a choice. I'm just holding shift. I don't know what to do. Um There they go. Hey how's it oh boy. That's a, that's a bit loud. Oh, hey, good, day two. This is amazing. I have, oh my God. Oh, I gotta do this real quick. Got a boat. Reclaim this. Okay, three, two, one, go. Wow, I don't know where I'm going. I didn't look ahead. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I'm just running from a horde. Oh, geez, that's a sharp cliff. Steep. Oh. I mean, I can only assume there's just a million zombies behind me. Oh, I'm heading. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to go this specific way. Oh, there's only one guy. I can deal with one guy. Okay, I can die here, though. Woo. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Oh, what the fuck is... Oh, I know what that is. Oh, iron. Shit, more coming. Okay. What are you going to do? Yeah, now you're in water. What are you what are you gonna do now? Okay. None of them have really seen me, so I am running. I don't want to go in that city. I do want to go in the water though. Let's do that. Oh, look at all that sweet, sweet gravel. Oh, that's what the shovel's for. Let's get it. Yes. Yeah, that's fine, bud. That's fine. Got these two, and away we go. I get six flint, not bad. And 27 gravel for stacking. Okay. Just gonna follow this river. Oh, I could. I should probably. Oh, I hate the sound. Um. Fuck. Fuck. Don't be jungle. Don't be jungle. Don't be jungle. No. No. Uh. <laughs> I need to get away from these biomes. This is gonna this is just gonna suck on rendering. It's doing okay right now, but I'm worried. Oh, Badlands. Let's have a gander. Um I need 
I also need to find stone. I don't think I'll find that here, though. Oh, uh, no. Oh, yeah. I should try to get the sticks as I go through. Hmm. Wonder what that is. Oh, I like how it's like a little... It's bordering a uh, desert. These tents? These are people! Hello, Renetta. You don't trade anything? Oh, we got Domingo. Cool, whatever. Okay, we got two librarians. Oh, no, you're not anything. Oh, huh. Okay, here, take that. <laughs> take that. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. That, that's what I was trying to do. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry. Um. Okay, it does have that. Oh, 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 another chest. Hey, see, you got some bread. I'll take that. What's going on in here? Sure. Sure. I should check out all your places. Okay. Mm, sure. It is food, and I don't have a lot of food right now, so I should... I should take it. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Okay. I wonder what causes that. Alright, uh, I do not want to go anywhere that way. So this is fine. I'm going to go this way. Kind of away from the jungle as much as possible. Hello. Bunch of roos. Okay. Let's go for it. Where are we going? Oh, this is pretty. Hope I spot animals. I hope I spot buildings. Not seeing a lot that's helpful right yet. Oh, I can't forget stone, or else I'm going to be forced to make another campfire. What is this? Huh. Crazy. Uh, this is not what I had in mind. Although... Oh shit, no. Oh shit, no. Oh shit, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. We run. It, the time for running is now. We'll just go this way and see what, what fate deals us. Oh shit. That's a big ass fly. Oh. Interesting generation over here. Oh. Wait, is that a pillager? Vindicator. What in this thing? Oh. Are you are you trapped in there? Not yet, but you could be. Hey. Hey, yeah, yeah. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. 
Ooh, that's not gonna work. Hmm. You know, leave him to his fate. Oh, it's starting to get dark. I might be able to make it up there. Look at that iron. Oh, I gotta go for it. I gotta. And all that stone. how we're gonna safely get up here get that iron oh gosh the sun's going down this this sucks this super sucks oh my goodness okay quick 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 yeah, make that, make me an axe, make me a pickaxe, what I meant to do. Okay. Let's get this right now. Come on. I need a couple more stone. One, two, three. That'll do. That'll do. I'll take your coal. Okay, I'm getting greedy. Let's go up. Oh no. Oh yeah, we're not fucking with that. This height, come on. Okay. Not bad. Not a lot of zombies are going to be able to be up here. In fact... Oh, this is not going to matter a whole lot, but... Let's try to cut down on the number. Okay. Come on, wood, 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 wood. Before they come, um, let's do that. Okay, okay. Last little prep here. Let's throw down some more light. pretty good I don't think we're gonna have an immediate problem okay uh, oh, besides needing more torches shit I'm taking this one see this is smarter because being up here less surface area Light levels. I feel like I can stay about here. There we go. Amazing. All right. Whew. Sigh of relief. My goodness. Throw that in and use that for cooking. I'll make a couple more torches. Oops. Yeah, that feels good. Oh, can I make arrows now actually? Flint. Hmm. 
I don't have any gunpowder yet, so it's not worth it to make uh, a gun. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, do I have anything to cook? Nope. All right. Here, I'm going to have to swap that out. Uh -huh. Oh, I have potatoes. That's what I was going to cook. Go for it. And... Make all the bread. Okay, so I have, what, five pieces of iron? Three fine iron pickaxe. Yeah. So let's do that. Iron pickaxe. That makes sense. Okay. Now we're better equipped. It gives me two pieces of iron left over. Uh, what did I need two iron for? Oh, actually. Oh, I don't have enough leather. Shit. If I had saved leather, I could have made the uh, paraglider so I could have had... That'll save my life. I need to make one of those soon. I have string. That's good. Oh, I needed it for the patch, didn't I? Yes. Yeah, let's make that. So I need a chest. Chest, iron, and a workbench. Oh, but I need leather. Damn it. Right? Yeah, I need I need to make one of the patches, which holy shit. Oh, never mind. Alright, well I just wasted some resources, sort of. So I think those are my backup ones. In case I lose these. Cool. Yeah, we're good on that for now. I'm gonna just save my iron. Okay, I like it organized like that. Let's still use that a little bit. Actually, that should be my um, stackable block. We have a lot right now. Okay, this is all done. Cool. Extra food. And we got plenty of time left to do some reading. Cool, so let's set this up. Boom. There we go. Take my little screenshot. Um, uh, okay. Ah, nose. Doing the exact same thing. Wow. So... It was Christmas, and the Yattering was excited because Jack's daughters were coming back. Let's see. Planning his attack. We'll start from near the top of that page. So, meanwhile, Jack's life sauntered on. He seemed to live apart from his experience, living his life as an author might write a preposterous story, never evolving himself in the narrative too deeply. In several significant ways, however, he showed his enthusiasm for the coming holiday, cleared his daughter's rooms immaculately. He made their beds up with sweet-smelling linen. He cleaned every speck of cat's blood out of the carpet. He even set up a Christmas tree in the lounge, hung with iridescent balls, tinsels, and presents. Once in a while, as he went about the preparations, Jack thought of the game he was playing and quietly calculated the odds against him. In the days to come, he would have to measure not only his own suffering, but that of his daughters against the possible victory. And always, when he made these calculations, the chance of victory seemed to outweigh the risks.
Sorry, it's hard to read with chap boots. Okay. So he continued to write his life and waited. Snow came, soft paths of it against the windows, against the door. Children arrived uh, to sing carols, and he was generous to them. It was possible for a brief time to believe in peace on earth. Late in the evening of the 23rd of December, the daughters arrived in a flurry of cases and kisses. The youngest, Amanda, arrived home first. From its vantage point on the landing, the Addering viewed the young women bayfully. She didn't look like idle ma she didn't look like ideal material in which to induce a breakdown. In fact, she looked dangerous. Oh, where'd my music go? Okay, just a lull on the track. I want to finish this paragraph. Um, she didn't look like ideal material in which to induce a breakdown. In fact, she looked dangerous. Gina followed an hour or two later, a smoothly polished woman of the world at 24. She looked every bit as intimidating as her sister. They came into the house with their bustle and their laughter. They rearranged the furniture. They threw out the junk food in the freezer. They told each other and their father how much they had missed each other's company. Within the space of a few hours, the drab house was repainted with light and fun and love. It made the yattering sick. We're going to stop there for now. Okay. Let's, uh, oops. Let's get on with it. Oops, I'm doing this wrong. Do that first. Oh, pretty good reclamation. Yeah. It doesn't look like we got any zombies down here. We do, very few. I haven't heard any. Or none of them saw me. Hey, success. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that field, though. That's all builders. Just randomly placing blocks. The fuck was that sound? It was coarse dirt. Was I standing in coarse dirt? Was that it? Did you get that? Okay. I think I should quickly reclaim my torches. Res both resources and time are limited, so... I need to do this as quickly as I can. Burning daylight. Oh, I got snakes about. Okay. I could go back down this way, or I could go down the other side. Let's see. Because. Hmm? Don't go too fast. Yeah, now where those guys are. Is this me going through grass? Is that what that is? Weird. I don't know if I ever really heard that before. Huh. So I'm thinking... I don't even know which way I came from anymore. I gotta take a look. I feel like I was passing this mound, but I'm not sure what side I was passing it from. I feel like I was going that way, and I saw it, and I came up this way. So 
I don't I don't want to go that way necessarily. I want to go this way. I think. So the best way to do that would be to find a spot I can just take the boat over the edge. Okay. Screw the boat. I could make this jump. I guess I'm, I'm, I guess I'm doing it. What the hell sees me? Oh shit! Fucking fuck. And away we go. Wow. Excuse me, gents. Oh boy. I feel like I need to go left. I feel like I need to keep going this direction. Not even sure what direction I am anymore. Go this way. I think that's, that's the rising sun, right? Right? Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, what's all this? Oh, nice. Oh, this is real close to the uh, surface. Oh, well, we got a city. Okay. Well, I'm not going in there. Not yet. That's 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 when I get stupid and brave later. I'm not stupid and brave yet. It's not an or situation. <laughs> I'm stupid and brave. I run out of water. Yeah, I did. Okay, we run. It's so tempting. I don't know. No. Don't need it. I don't have anything I want to buy. Rabbits, uh, I'll waste too many arrows. I'm like, oh, I could get their hide, but I'll waste too many arrows. I'm like suspicious of everything. It's like, what? What is that? Okay. Sweet. Ooh. Let's go. Cool formations. Oh, it looks like a snake mouth. Like Cave of Wonders type of thing. Oh, a little bit of coal. I don't need the coal, though. I might be getting sick of this terrain generation, too. I might, I'm starting to yearn for the original just because I think it would also mean more of the buildings are compatible. Wait. This wasn't the same one, was it? Wait, is that the setting sun? What is even happening? We just started this day. Oh. Oh my. Okay. Anything else in here? Aww. 
Oops. Nobody's? Nobody home? Oh, I see. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I could, I could use that. Ooh, replacement bow. Sure, I'll trade you. You could save, keep the rest. Oh, we're gonna make guns next. Hell yeah. Here, take that. The rest is fine. This, this I should be using. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's do that for now. Okay. Uh, I shouldn't be in here when the sun sets. Let's get out of here. This guy's a fisherman. So can this? This can't be where. I, no, I didn't start anywhere near something like this. I didn't even pass one. The one I saw before was different. Yo, bud. Well, you're a bandit. And you'll sell me some arrows. Oh, why didn't you say? Cool. Um, I will take this deal. Let's not go too crazy. And what's this? Poison arrows. All right. Maybe for another time. Thank you, sir. Good luck. Give that thing a wide berth. Okay, land is fairly flat. I, oh. Hmm. Is that, is that a portal? Too dangerous. Shit. 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 Shit, this is not, this is not great. This is not ideal. Not ideal? Um, what am I stacking? I guess I'm using this. We're just gonna, we're just gonna stay over here. We're just gonna stay over here. And this is not gonna help at all. There's just too much land around here, but here's hoping it does something. Okay. All right, let's go. I don't know what that sound was. Jeez. I hate it. Nothing needs to be making that sound. Okay, at least I'll be able to see the base, too. There's a chest somewhere in there. I'll be able to see when it's daylight. I don't know what that sound is. I hate it. really doesn't need to be doing that. Whatever's doing that doesn't need to be doing that. Mob alerted, really? I did such a good job. Okay. That's, that's pretty annoying, actually. What we got here? I don't have enough feathers to make anything. I don't have enough iron. I need iron. It's gonna be the, like the next get. Hmm. Can make a smoker? No, I don't want to do that. Okay. Oh fuck that noise! even like the turtle or whatever okay well whatever Eat.
Okay, you got plenty of time. Let's just do that. Oh. Okay, okay. I gotta I gotta fix something in that sand. Let's see if that was it. Nope. Um it can't be that. Ambient environment. Oh, maybe it's blocks. <laughs> okay. So now I know which one it was. Ugh. Okay, you know what? We're just going through, through the night without hostile creature sounds, and that's going to be dangerous as fuck. So we're going to do this. Got to keep an eye on mob activity down there. There we go. Can't hear how many are alerted. Oh boy. Doesn't look like we have many builders yet. Or any builders. Maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Alright, let's try to read. Mm. So it made the Adering sick, all this love and fun. Whimpering, it hit its head in the bedroom to block out the din of affection. But the shock waves enveloped it. All it could do was sit and listen and refine its revenge. Jack was pleased to have his beauty's home. Amanda so full of opinions and so strong, like her mother. Gina, more like his mother, poised, perceptive. He was so happy in her in their presence that he could have wept. And here and here was he, the proud father, putting them both at such risk. But what was the alternative? If he had cancelled the Christmas celebrations, it would have looked highly suspicious. It might even it might even have spoiled his whole strategy, waking the enemy to the trick he was that was being played. So I need to borrow again. We're on top page 44. Let's hope it reloads. I had to change something with the background there. Let's do this instead. That way I can still see subtitles if they come up. Uh... At least I would assume I'm not seeing any subtitles. We're at the top there. Okay. Uh, no, he must sit tight, play dumb, the way the enemy had come to expect him to be. The time would come for action. At 3.15 a.m. on Christmas morning, the Addering opened hostilities by throwing Amanda out of bed. A paltry performance at best, but it did but it had the intended effect. Sleepily rubbing her bruised head, she climbed back into bed only to have the bed buck and shake and fling her off again like an unbroken colt. The noise woke the rest of the house. Gina was first in her sister's room. What's going on? There's somebody under the bed. What? Gina picked up a paperweight from the dresser and demanded the assailant come out. The Addering, invisible, sat on the window seat and made obscene gestures at the women, try tying knots in its genitalia. Jin appeared under the bed. The Addering was 
clinging to the light fixture now, persuading it to swing backwards and forwards, making the room real. There's nothing there. There is. Amanda knew. Oh, yes, she knew. There's something here, Gina. Something in the room with us. I'm sure of it. No, Gina was absolute. It's empty. Amanda was searching behind the wardrobe when Polo came in. What's all the din? Or what's all the din? Uh, there's something in the house, Daddy. I was thrown out of bed. Jack looked at the crumpled sheets, the dislodged mattress, then to Amanda. This was the first test. He must lie as casually as possible. Looks like you've been having nightmares, beauty, he said, affecting an innocent smile. There was something under the bed, she insisted. There's nobody here now. But I felt it. Well, I'll check the rest of the house, he offered without enthusiasm for the task. You two stay here just in case. As Polo left the room, the Adderang rocked the light a little more. Subsidence. Sub subs yeah, subsidence, said Gina. It was cold downstairs, and Polo could have done without padding around barefoot on the kitchen tiles, but he was quietly satisfied that the battle had been joined in such a petty manner. He'd half feared that the enemy would turn savage with such tender victims at hand, but no, he judged the mind of the creature quite accurately. It was one of the lower orders. Powerful, but slow. Capable of being... Uh, inv inveigled. I don't know what that means. Beyond the limits of its control. Carefully does it, he told himself. Carefully does it. Okay, we gotta stop there, because it's a new day. It's about to be a new day. Let's get the... Yeah, subtitles are on. Okay, well, I mean, it's not as bad as it could have been. A lot of them are going in the water, which is really actually preferable. Okay, let's do this. Day four. Yes, yes. You can all see me. I know. So much noise. I hate the sound. So it doesn't look like they have builders. I could probably take out quite a few. I'm gonna try my new sword out. Oh, that's loud. Wow, this is working a treat. Oh, there was a builder there. Oh, shit. Cool. All the stuff I could have gotten from that uh, burned up. All of those drops. That's fine. <laughs> Turtle. Okay, so since I was successful, I could. Uh, you haven't converted? There you go. Stay in the water. The hell's dying. Something was just dying. Yeah, I don't see. 
feels like too much of a risk. I'm not gonna do it. That fruit is just a little too far out of reach. And there's no way I'm gonna make it to a hundred days, let alone beat 15 if I just dive into water looking for a chest. Um, also, I think I started over there. So that's the direction I want to go. Oh boy. I don't even know. Whoa. Whoa. The fuck is that? In all my playthroughs, I have never seen a building like that generate. I got. Ooh. I gotta take a look. Oh. Whoa. The fuck is happening? Okay, real quick. Let's potato it a little. Um, just because the frame rate dropped like crazy and it looked like it was spawning in a shit ton of zombies in midair. And that might have been what it was trying to do. Let's see if this helps. And try turning. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't know what's happening. Not responding. Yeah, obviously, whatever that was, I think just... Oh, oh man, it seems to be breaking my game. Come on, I'm trying, I'm trying to get it to go to uh, menu, because it seemed to be okay in menu. There we go. And then if I do, if I make it real small. Let's see, let's put on, um. It says 6049, but it is not, it is not 60 frames. This is barely one frame. I can't do anything. Yeah, the GPU seems, the GPU maxing out or something. Double check. Hmm. Looks like the bottleneck was CPU, maybe? <sighs> Close program. Well, shit. 
I don't know what to say except um, I guess I gotta start over. Damn. I could try loading it again, but it's likely it's not gonna work. Whatever was happening in that spot was destroying it. I don't even know what mod that was. I have no idea what caused that. Okay. Oh, it gave me an error code. Copy exit code. Check. Uh, nope. This error code is not coming up. All right. Oh, wait. Did I find it? No. That's error code one. It's weird. Some of the Google search results are coming up with my number. But only in the suggestions. All right, well, whatever. Fuck it. Okay, I'm going to try launching it again. This time... <clears throat> yeah. I don't want to lose that progress, so I kind of want to try again. All right, I'm going to give this one more shot. I'm going to see if it will load in. I'm really curious if it, it's going to crash like it did before. I'm going to make the window this small. <laughs> Let's just see if it'll even. What's going to happen? Oh, maybe. Am I out of bounds? Yeah, something in the vicinity is killing the frames. Because that's, that's busted. That's busted, that's busted. Alright, let's try to exit back to the main menu if I can. If it'll let me. Go. Don't bother saving world. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, recreate. Okay, rare cities, everything else is on. Create. So for a better... Sh Better roll the dice, I suppose. In the meantime, can uh, keep reading. It'll take a hot minute. Okay, yeah, we're over here. So, uh, he trapes the entire house, dutifully opening cupboards and peering up, uh, behind furniture. Then, Returned to his daughters, who were sitting at the top of the stairs, Amanda looked small and pale, not the twenty-year-old woman she was, but a child again. Nothing doing, he told her with a smile. It's Christmas morning, and all through the house, Gina finished the rhyme. Nothing is stirring, not even a mouse. Not even a mouse, beauty. At that moment, the Adderine took its cue to fling a vase off the lounge mantelpiece. Even Jack jumped. Shit, he said. He needed some sleep, but quite clearly the Adderine had no intention of letting them alone just yet. Okay, sirrah, sirrah, he mumbled, scooping up the pieces of the Chinese vase and putting them in a piece of newspaper. The house is sinking a little on the left side, you know, he said more loudly. It has been for years. 
subsidence, said Amanda with quite quiet certainty. Subsidence would not throw me out of my bed. Gina said nothing. The options were limited. The alternative is unattractive. Okay, I guess we stop there for now. And check out what we got. Oh, I, let's, um... Since it was not the shaders, but rather the AI or whatever the heck it was that was crashing it, I can turn things back on a little. Come on. What? Uh, messages from the roommates. Minimum fancy. Oh, that was ages ago. Okay. Um, I'll okay. I will be right back. I need to just go check on something. Oop. Oh. Re rendering? There we go.
Oh my goodness. Vegan chili. Really, really good. I'll take an I'll take a roommate offer of chili anytime. All right. I have something to light once I'm... Uh, once we're in it. Whoa! Right away. Awesome. Whoops. I should switch to... The right thing. Yeah, that. That's pretty cool. Uh, this landscape's all right. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a road to a city. Savannah. Ooh. Oh, wow. Hopefully I don't fall. <gasps> oh. bad. It's not a bad way to come down from a tree. I think those are just the pigs. That ravine. Oh, she awfully tempting. Grab all the wood I can. I have this opportunity right now on my way down. They also see I could probably get some stone right away. Maned wolf wines. Oh, I see. Let's just go down now. So I, I know better now, and I will um, absolutely run from one of those buildings if I see them again. Here we go. Lines a lot. Is it part of a duck? Ah. The best part of the duck got clipped. The duck is usually filled with diamonds. Oh. Oh, okay. A little bit of delay there. Oh, there's another feature right over here. Okay. Well. And a whole ass house. Okay. What the fuck is coming at me? Chickens? Oh, yeah. We got some food, bruh. Fuck off, chicken. Oh, my God. How are you still alive? Not. Fuck you, chicken. Wow. Wow. Uh, I don't need melon seeds. Ooh, I'll take a stone axe, though. Thank you. Okay, this little mushroom thing, I don't think it's anything. And then we got this whole ass house here. Let's just take a quick look. 
This is... Oh, cool. This is an inn. Hey, bud. Um, just here for one thing. Whatever's in the box. Thank you. I'll take that. And actually, I'll take the whole chest. I'll take one of these. Boom. Easy way to cook my food. And now we get the hell out of here because I don't think there's anything else I can. Yeah, there's going to be nothing else here. See ya, bud. Wouldn't want to be a bud. Okay, there was something. Yeah, there was that that ravine. I don't want to like spelunk. Maybe I do. Yeah, here it is. I'm not fucking with you. Terrifying. I don't think I should go down there. Like, not even a little. I was just hoping there'd be a little bit more access to stone. Or iron. Hell no. Nope. We leave. We leave. And we don't look back. We... Okay. What do I got? I got a bit of food. I don't have any leather. No leather, no stone. Do I have? Yeah, I, I gotta have something in hand ready to go up with. There we go. Fuck. And it's gonna get dark real quick, so let's just let's just make it to the top of this hill and get all comfy. I can collect more wood. Maybe there's even going to be some apples. That would be great. Oh. Ooh. That's, uh... I'll take that. Hell yeah. Don't want to get trapped here. I need let's put this in my hot bar so I know how many I have. Okay. Okay, that's good enough. That's a bunch. it is. Cool. I'm glad fast decay actually works sometimes. Or maybe it is? No. No, it's not really working. Flowers of the Savannah? What did I pick up? Oh, Keisha. Oh, an asshole. Yeah, I dare you to try to get up here. You even know how to path, bro. What's your what's your method? You up this way? You're not doing too good. No. Who's making that noise? Is... Okay, it's just you. Wow. That sounded like that was a lot closer and in a different direction. Um, Light. Let there be light. Of 
So I'm rubbing my makeup off. Okay, let's make this little platform here. I don't know why I'm doing this. I guess I'm getting the blocks. I need the blocks. But. There's going to be so many dudes out here. This doesn't even really matter where I post up. They're just going to be everywhere. I, I'm not even going to bother with the light this time. Oh, shit. Wow. That's, uh, deadly. Oh, <laughs> I see you. Oh. Yes. That's a win. Solid. What's that light from? Oh, shit's on fire. That's great. The more fire, the better. All right, let's put some light down. Okay, bye. Hm. I can see you. What are you gonna do? I think I'm out of their range. I should be out of their range. Okay. Just a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Whew. Picked up a lot of things. Let's deal with that first. Okay. Let's go up to the edge and toss our garbage. Okay. Okay, that's good. So I need to put down this, this, and I need to make this. Start off with one coal. All right. Oh, that's cooked. Sweet. All right. I don't have much to cook. Enjoy it while it's somewhat warm. Yeah, it's not. It's not a little, ooh -hoo. I need a boat. Make a couple more sticks just to have sticks on hand. I could cook those logs. It's not the worst idea. A smattering of food, golden carrots. I'm gonna save those. Try to go through the other stuff first. Hmm. Oh, we got a lot of food. Look at all that. Lovely.
Okay. Oh, I need a stone axe. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, let's get back to the story. Subsidence, said Amanda with quite, quiet certainty, would not throw me out of my bed. Gina said nothing. The options were limited, the alternatives unattractive. Well, maybe it was Santa Claus, said Polo, attempting levity. He parceled up the pieces of the vase and wandered through into the kitchen, certain that he had he was being shadowed every step of the way. What else can it be? He threw the question over his shoulder as he stuffed the newspaper into the waste bin. The only other explanation... He had become almost elated by his skimming so close to the truth. The only other possible uh, explanation too preposterous... Is, sorry, is too preposterous for words. <laughs> it was uh, an exquisite irony, denying the existence of the invisible world and the full knowledge that it even now, it breathed vengefully down his neck. You mean poltergeist, said Gina. Well, I mean anything that goes bang in the night, but we're grown up people, aren't we? We don't believe in boogeymen. No, said Julian flat flatly. I don't, but I don't believe the house is subsiding either. Well, it'll have to do for now, said Jack, with nonchalant finality. Christmas starts here. We don't want to spoil it talking about gremlins now, do we? They laughed together. Gremlins. That surely bit deep to call the hell spot a gremlin. The yattering, weak with frustration, acid tears boiling on its intangible cheeks, ground its teeth and kept its peace. There would be time yet to beat the, uh, the atheistic smile off of Jack Polo's smooth, fat face. Time aplenty. No half measures. Uh, from now on, no subtlety. It would be an all-out attack. Let there be blood. Let there be agony. They'd all break. Amanda was in the kitchen preparing Christmas dinner, but the Adderang mounted its next attack. Through the house drifted the sound of King's College Choir. Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we, we see thee lie. The presents had been opened and G&Ts were being downed. The house was one warm embrace from roof to cellar. In the kitchen, a sudden chill permeated the heat and the steam, making Amanda shiver. She crossed to the window, which was ajar to clean, uh, clear the air, and closed it. Maybe she was catching something. The Adderang watched her back as she busied herself about the kitchen, enjoying the domesticity for a day. Amanda felt the stare quite clearly. She turned round. Nobody. Nothing. She continued to wash the Brussels sprouts, cutting into one with a, with a worm curled in the middle. She drowned it. The choir sang on. Uh, I should probably stop there. Really like the story. Let's 
going to be a little bit difficult, but we're going to do it. I'm not low enough for them to really hear me yet. Day two. Oh shit, there's plenty down there. Oh boy. Okay. I don't see builders yet. Psychos, nurses, swarmers. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, I got a plan. I don't like this plan. It means I'm going to have to leave some resources behind. Oh no, I could use this uh, dirt. Okay, let's get some of my wood back. I could take them. We're okay. I'm a little worried about this one uh, guy who could break the block I'm standing on, but... Come on. Aww. Uh, let's go up a couple. I might as well make... Okay. I gotta make two things. One. Let's go with an iron sword. I need to get another stone axe. Okay. If it doesn't have sweeping edge, is it still hurting all of them or just knocking them all back? I wonder. Come on. Doing okay so far. What? What? Why did you guys do that? You made a hole for yourself. That, it's that miner that's fucking things up. Oh, maybe he's dead. Come on, over on this side. Over on this side. I'm over here. I'm gonna get through this. What the fuck? Who's digging? Stop digging, you dolts. Is 
Is that me? Am I doing that? I must be. Yeah. Just gotta be careful. I've almost got them. Oh. Uh -oh. Better not be dusk already. I couldn't have spent the whole time doing this. up everything. There's some coal there I need. What can I drop? Uh, drop that. I get it? No. Nope. Oh, there it is. Risky, risky, risky. There we go. Oh, sword. Take that. Don't need any of that. Let's make sure I'm not carrying a ton of junk. Cool. That's some leather. I don't have enough leather. I think I need some iron. I'm gonna make a backpack, but fuck yeah. It's gotta be in the cards now. Survived another night, survived a terrible, terrible welcoming party there. That burned a lot of, a lot of durability. Yeah, I don't need any slime, right? Actually, could use the slime. Hold on, what if I did this? Okay. Because... Oh no, it's an eight, or it's... It's nine? Okay, so I can do that later. All right. Well, my plan, my backup plan was, was going to, um, create a plank and plank off of here. Take those copies of the book. Thank you. Oh, one more leather. Oh. I don't know what I'm picking up. All right. I need to get down. I think I'll just, yeah, let's just do it this way. That's my, no. Oh my God. Oh my God. Where are they coming from? Jeez. All right, up, 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 up. We gotta get the fuck away from all those guys. Okay, I guess this way, towards the water. I can move faster that way. It's not really almost nighttime. No. Oh, shitty. Hmm. I'm gonna have to post up real soon. Oh. Shit. <laughs> cool. A lot of people are gonna die. Ooh, and there's some cows. 
All right, there's going to be a lot of resources, so I can't pass this up. Let's go. I'll get this all in the morning. Oh, man. <laughs> Over here, it's gonna be good. Fuck me. Oh boy. All right. Here we go. Well, at least I have some water I can jump into if I need to. There's less area for. Oh, you can't, you guys are never going to be able to get it. Shit. Alright, I'm glad you're distracted. For some reason they can't hurt the, uh... The animals. Even the zombie ones. Oh, cool. There's a honey place right nearby, too. Okay, time to uh, continue upwards. Let's just try to get out as much out of sensing range as possible. In fact, can I cheese it? Like, how how high do I have to go to, to stop spawning crap on the ground? Oh boy. Let's, let's go up the rest of the stack. Okay, that's good. I don't know how high we are, but... Oh, let's get those stats off the screen. platform um i don't have meat to cook everything i have is already cooked the don't have enough leather for anything actually here let's put down a table show me my recipes oh i have enough for a paraglider leather I have there's enough stuff down below this thing will save my life I will I have to have this on hand like it has to be in my hot bar this thing will save my life okay so then use this charcoal to make torches that's freeze up a slot um let's Have some sticks. Hmm. Uh. Oh yeah, slime blocks. One slime block. Doesn't really help me right now. I'll keep them in, and then I'll just take up two slots in my inventory. So I'm just gonna wait on that. But I think, I think there's something to that. I think I'm hanging on to the bone because. Um, I could use it to grow crops if I was, if I really need to, though I'm, I'm starting to carry a lot. I'm wondering, should I? Bone meal and do that, condense it, and then I can, how much is that? Three? Okay. Fire charges, not immediately useful. That's garbage. A lot of strength, cool. Uh, durability is good on stuff. 
there's not much I uh, there's not much I can manage, so I think I can go straight to back to the story. I was just double checking because I felt I had more than that, but whatever. Everything will be below, hopefully still intact. <laughs> All right. Zabuk. Mm. The choir sang on. Ah, yes. In the lounge, Jack was laughing with Gina about something. Then a noise. A rattling at first, followed by a beating of someone's fists against the door. Amanda dropped the knife into the bowl of sprouts and turned from the sink, following the sound. It was getting louder all the time, like something locked in one of the cupboards, desperate to escape. A cat caught in the box, or a bird. It was coming from the oven. Amanda's stomach turned as she began to imagine the worst. Had she locked something in the oven when she'd put in the turkey... She called for her father as she snatched up the oven cloth and stepped towards the cooker, which was rocking with the panic of its prisoner. She had visions of a basted cat leaping out at her, its fur burnt off, its flesh half-cooked. Jack was at the kitchen door. There's something in the oven, she said to him, as though he needed telling. The cooker was in a frenzy. Its thrashing contents had all but beaten off the door. He took the oven cloth from her. This is a new one, he thought. You're better than I judged you to be. This is clever. This is original. Gina was in the kitchen now. What's cooking? She quipped. But the joke was lost as the cooker began to dance and the pans of boiling water were twitched off the burners onto the floor. Scalding water... But the word water, it starts raining. That's great. Scalding water seared Jack's leg. He yelled, stumbling back into Gina before diving at the cooker with a yell that wouldn't have shamed a samurai. The oven handle was slippery with heat and grease, but he seized it and flung the door down. A wave of steam and blistering heat rolled out of the oven, smelling of the succulent turkey fat. But the bird inside had apparently no intentions of being eaten. It was flinging itself from side to side on the roasting tray, tossing gouts of gravy in the in all directions. Its crisp brown wings pitifully flailed and flapped, its legs beat a tattoo on the roof of the oven. Then it seemed to sense the open door. Its wings stretched themselves out to either side of its stuffed bulk, and it half hopped, half fell onto the oven door in a mockery of its living self. Headless, oozing, stuff or sorry, oozing stuffing and onions, it dropped around as though nobody had told the damn thing it was dead. Sorry, flopped. While the fat still bubbled on its bacon-strewn back, Amanda screamed. I need to borrow again. It's going to refresh. Hmm. Jack dived for the door as the bird lurched into the air, blind but vengeful. When it, what it intended to do once it reached its three cowering victims was never discovered. Gina dragged Amanda into the hallway with her father in hot pursuit, and the door was slammed closed as the blind bird flung itself against the paneling, beating on it with all its strength. Gravy seeped through the gap at the bottom of the dark door, dark and fatty. The door had no lock, but Jack reasoned that the bird was not capable of turning the handle. As he backed away, breathless, he cursed his confidence. The opposition had more up its sleeve than he guessed. Amanda was leaning against the wall, sobbing, her face stained with splotches of turkey grease. All she seemed to be able to do was deny what she'd seen. Shaking her head, head and repeating the word, no, like a talisman against the ridiculous horror that was still throwing itself against the door. Jack escorted her through to the lounge. The radio was still uh, crooning carols, which blotted out the din of the bird, but their promises of goodwill seemed small comfort. Looks like it might be daytime. 
I'm just gonna go a little bit further here. Actually, no. Actually, yes. One more. Gina poured a hefty brandy for her sister and sat beside her on the sofa, plying her with spirits and reassurance in about equal measure. They made little impression on Amanda. Okay, we stop there. Yeah, good timing. It is day three. There's the pillar. Yeah, all right, cool. I'm glad I marked the pillar appropriately. I'm gonna leave behind some of this wood. Uh, like if it's raining, I wonder how much, like how many zombies that, that'll mean. Oh, I like... Oh, that's the shadow of the pillar. Wow. I've seen the marks of the passage. I don't even know how the villagers fared. They could all be dead. Alright, let's see how much attention I get when I come down. I don't see anything. I'm either really lucky, like I cheesed it somehow. Oh! Are they just trying to render or something? I'm seeing them now. And I see a builder right there. That's dangerous. A zombie villager? No, that's too bad. Zombie warrior villager too. Let's go. Man, this is so much more dangerous. I have options, though. As long as I don't die stupidly here. A lot of voices. Oh, I have an idea. Yeah, come at me, bros. Let me see what you got. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Looking around, making sure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come over to this side. Over to this side. Come on. There we go. Into the water. Now just simmer there for just a little bit. That should. I mean, they're terrible swimmers, so this is already working out for me. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come at me, come at me, come at me. And then down you go. Yeah, they're all turning into drown. Perfect. Okay, this is manageable. Fuck. I don't even want to know what that is. Oh, 
Where are you? Where are you? Oops. Let's go. Not today. Oh. Shit, maybe today. Is somebody stuck in here? Cool. They're quiet until they're not, so... I was creeped out. Okay, there's nothing there. Whoa. Looks like the cows got out. It's the main thing I'm after right this second, so let's go for it. Hello, cow. Come here. I just want to talk. Thank you. You're next. It's coming for me. Okay. Oh, it's a cow? Okay, yes. Yes, please. Let's go, cow. No, no. Ooh, we got one. <sighs> All right, let's see what the what this place has. No doors, that's for sure. Does this house have anything in it? Oh, don't do that. Nope. Okay. Any spe mm, is this a specialty house? Nothing. Blast furnace, don't care. I'm getting attention. Oh, I see. Hmm. Can I do the same trick? I don't even need to. <gasps> oh, shit! Are they busting down doors? Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, Malissa. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. No, the sound. This foley is just scaring me already. There's a lot out there. Oh my goodness. Wait, is that it? Come on. Okay, I see another one out there. Let's try to get this first. Coming for me? Okay. I need that gunpowder. Um, I'm sorry, Inga. Come on. Are we good? Are we good for the moment? For the minute? Like the rest is cows? Okay, I'm getting down. Okay, uh, toss that, turn that into zombie, toss that, there we go, gunpowder, cool, 
Give me the rest of the gunpowder. Give me the other book. Fuck it. Okay. Uh, let's switch that and make sure. Set to something else. Fuck. Hey. Hey. Hey, no. No, no, no. Oh, there's a chest in that one. Fuck. No. Oh, no. Oh. Fuck me. Really? Really? Why are they all over here? Why are... Why? Why are we doing this here? Okay. Well, we're gonna make it. <sighs> I feel like I'm not done with this village. I can still get some more out of it, but damn it, I need it to stop raining. And here, let's just for good measure put myself out. I guess it really doesn't matter. Yeah, there's still some buildings to explore. There's another, looks like, garden thing over there. That indicates a city is nearby. Okay. So far, this world hasn't been too bad. <sighs> One piece of leather. Sad. Um... Oh, well, they're breaking down doors. That's what that sound is. Ah, that's lovely. All right, I need some ideas. This helps me brainstorm. There we go. Yeah, I am running out of acts. I don't want to be stuck without an axe, but I don't know if I want to dare make a wooden one. Oh, good. Nothing else is going to help me. Okay. That's fine. Let me get back to the story. Boom. It's not the sound of thunder. I'm breaking a door down. All right, all right, all right. Um, do, 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 do. okay. They were about to have a conversation. Oh, just beat the door down already. There you go. Uh, what was that? Gina asked her father in a tone that demanded an answer. Uh, I I don't know what it is. What it was, Jack replied. M mass hysteria. Gina's displeasure was plain. Her father had a secret. He knew what was going on in this house, but he was refusing to cough up for some reason. Well, what do I call? The police or an exorcist? Neither. For God's sake, there's nothing going on, Gina. Really. 
Her father turned from the window and looked at her. His eyes spoke what his mouth refused to say, that this was war. Jack was afraid. The house was suddenly a prison. The game was suddenly lethal. The enemy, instead of playing foolish games, meant harm. Real harm to all of them. In the kitchen, the turkey had at last conceded defeat. The carols on the radio had withered into the sermon on God's benedictions. What had been sweet was sour and dangerous. He looked across the room at Amanda and Gina. Both, for their own reasons, were trembling. Polo wanted to tell them, wanted to explain what was going on, but the thing must be there, he knew, gloating. He was wrong. The Addering had retired to the attic, well satisfied with its endeavors. The bird, it felt, had been a stroke of genius. Now it could rest a while, recuperate. <clears throat> Let the enemy's nerves tatter themselves in anticipation. Then, in its own good time, it would deliver the coup de grace. Idly, it wondered if any of the inspectors had seen his work with the turkey. Maybe they would be impressed enough by the Yattering's originality to improve its job prospects. Surely I hadn't gone through all of those years of training simply to chase half-witted imbeciles like Polo. <laughs> there must be something... Every door, every door in the village is getting destroyed right now. Sucks. There must be something more challenging available than that. It felt victory in its invisible bones, and it was a good feeling. The pursuit of Polo would surely gain momentum now. His daughters would convince him, if he wasn't now quite convinced, that there was something terrible afoot. He would crack. He would crumble. Maybe he'd go classically mad, tear out his hair, rip off his clothes, smear himself with his own excrement. Oh yes, victory was close. And wouldn't his masters be loving then? Wouldn't it be showering with wouldn't it be showered with praise and power? One more manifestation was all that was required. One final inspired in intervention and Polo would be so much blubbering flesh. Tired but confident, Yattering descended into the lounge. Amanda was lying a full length on the sofa, asleep. She was obviously dreaming about the turkey. Her eyes rolled beneath her glossomer lids. Her lower lip trembled. Gina sat beside the radio, which was silenced now. She had a book open on her lap, but she wasn't reading it. The gherkin and porter wasn't in the room. Wasn't that his footstep on the stair? Yes, he was going upstairs to relieve his brandy-full bladder. Ideal timing. The Adderine crossed the room. In her sleep, Amanda dreamt something dark flitting across her vision, something malign, something that tasted bitter in her mouth. Gina looked up from her book. The silver balls on the trees were rocking gently. Not just the balls, the tinsel and the branches too. In fact, the tree. The whole tree was rocking as though someone had just seized hold of it. Gina had a very bad feeling about this. She stood up. The book slid to the floor. The trees began to spin. Christ, she said. Jesus Christ. Amanda slept on. The tree picked up momentum. Gina walked as steadily as she could across to the sofa and tried to shake her sister awake. Amanda, locked in her dreams, resisted for a moment. Father, said Gina. Her voice was strong and carried through into the hall. It also woke Amanda. Downstairs, Polo heard a noise like a whining dog. No, like two whining dogs. As he ran down the stairs, the duet became a trio. He burst into the lounge, half expecting all the hosts of hell to be in there, dog-headed, dancing on the, his beauties. But no, it was the Christmas tree that was whining, whining like a pack of dogs as it spun and spun. The lights had long since been pulled from their sockets. The air stank of singed plastic and pine sap. The tree itself was spinning like a top, flinging decorations and presents off its tortured branches with the largesse of a mass king, mad king. Jack tore his eyes from the spectacle of the tree and found Gina and Manda crouching, terrified, behind the sofa. Get out of here, he yelled. Even as he spoke, the television sat up and 
pertinently on one leg and began to spin like the tree, gathering momentum quickly. The clock on the mantelpiece joined the pirouetting, the pokers be beside the fire, the cushions, the ornaments, each object added its own singular note to the orchestration of wines which were building up second by second to a deafening pitch. The air began to brim with the smell of burning wood as friction heated the spinning tops to flashpoint. Smoke swirled across the room. Okay, we got stuff. Day four. Woo. Oh, what madness awaits me below. Oh, 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 that was not the right one. Oh, there's a lot of them. I want to kill that cow. I want to get in the chest. Okay. You know what? Let's see if was, let's see if we can do this like I did before. We got the water right here. And the drown won't come out of the water unless it's raining and it's not raining. Let's get the attention of all the good little boys and girls. And then I'm going to lead them out onto the water. Oops. Yeah, come on. Bring it. Bring it. Hmm. Yep. Right here. Come on. Oh, it's already working. Stay in the water. I don't know if we have to go deeper for this to work. Let's go deeper. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, it's just some amount of water. Come on, convert. Wow. That makes for a good screenshot. There's a bunch of drowned just playing over there. Oh, there's a lot more of them. How's this not working? Get in the pool, everybody. Breaking a door? Come on. This isn't working. I'm getting impatient. This is an inn. That's not going to have anything in there. The noises sort of stopped. Oh, I could have just fallen there. Jeez. Am 
eventually they lose sight of me, right? <laughs> Jeez. All right. Appropriately creep. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. What is what is happening? Don't do that. No, no. Ah! No, stop glitching. I can't see what I'm doing. Fuck, I need to get in there. Let me in there. Thank you. Nothing. Nothing. Not helpful. Uh, no cows. I see the horse. I could go for the horse. They're all right there. They could totally get me, too. Got the leather. Oh. Ah. Anything? 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 Bread? Sure. I think I need to ditch this town. I think that's it with this place. I really need to get away. There's that thing, and then there's that thing. Here, let's go by boat. I'll call y'all. Got some mountains up there. Okay, what is... What we got here? Ready. Nothing. Technically coal. Those are block lights. Uh, it's a whole lot of nothing. It's pretty, but it's nothing. Something coming after me, actually? No. Is I'm going this way? I think it came from over th there somewhere. But I don't necessarily want to go this way, but... The rendering is glitching. Oh, no, no, this is good. No, no, this is good. Okay. I'm gonna have to go this way. Okay, let's run. Let's run. Yeah, don't care about you. I got plenty of food and I don't need wool. I need leather, baby. Okay, quick check. I have two. I need more leather if I want to make a backpack, which will really, really help. I also need to try to find um, iron. This, this chicken want it. I didn't want that. Ooh, I'll take the feather, though. Wait, is this the game? Oh, this is not the game I had a bow. I could make a bow. No, we're not doing that right now. Fuck, I'm running out of daylight already. Okay. It's almost daylight. I'm going to go up. As high as I can up here. What? Oh, it's more chickens. Okay. Oh, 
I need that meat. Give me the meat. Fine. It's not the one I want. I would want to do, but whatever. I uh, can't even pick that up. Oh, I really want to put more torches down. I guess I could. Yeah. I hate that. I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> oh, it's getting dark. It's getting real dark. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, no. I can't see. I can't. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Um, I need to do that. And then, eh. Wow. I'm alive. That was so disaster. That was... Insane. Absolutely insane. Nope. Nope. Okay. Up, 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 up. Wow. Wait, where's the noise coming from? Have figured. Uh, if they can still see me, let's keep going. I would like to see what I'm doing, though. That would be great. Okay, that feels about appropriate. Yay, invisible. Come on. Oh, hey, if I bleed on it, it makes it easier. <laughs> I wish these rendering glitches would stop. Or at least... I wish I could figure out what they were from. There, that'll force it. Okay. I got some steak. I could cook that. I have enough to do anything else, though. I have gunpowder. It'll be great at some point. But yeah, still need a backpack. Let's at least cook the stove. <laughs> that whole hill that I lit up. And then I ended up pillaring up over here. Irony. Just gonna forget about those torches. Stick with the two that I've got. Oh. I can't make a bundle, right? Oh no, if I think bundle is Regular leather, not rabbit hide. Unfortunately. Oops. Oh, I need... Yeah, I'm going to need a backup axe, because I am going to run out of mine soon, especially trying to get down from here.
I'm not optimistic, but I am alive. That's the village I came from, right? Yeah. Cool. Some iron off in the distance. May or may not ever be able to get. That's fine. All right, let's stop there. Uh, where was I? Okay. Smoke swirled across the room. Gina had Amanda by the arm and was dragging her towards the door, shielding her face against the hail of pine needles that the still accelerating tree was throwing off. Now the lights were spinning. The books, having flung themselves off the shelves, had joined the tarantula. Jack could see the enemy in his mind's eye racing. Excuse me. Racing between the objects like a juggler spinning plates on sticks, trying to keep them all moving at once. It must be exhausting work, he thought. The demon was probably close to collapse. You couldn't be thinking straight. Overexcited. Impulsive. Vulnerable. This must be the moment, if ever there was a moment, to join battle at last, to face the thing, defy it, and trap it. For its part, the Adderi was enjoying this orgy of destruction. It flung every movable object into the fray, setting everything spinning. It watched with satisfaction as the daughter twitched and scurried. It laughed to see the old man stare, pop-eyed, at this preposterous ballet. Surely he was nearly mad, wasn't he? The beauties had reached the door, their hair and skin full of needles. Polo didn't see them leave. He ran across the room, dodging a rain of ornaments to do so, and picked up a brass toasting fork, which the enemy had overlooked. Bric-a-brac filled the air around his head, dancing around with sickening speed. His flesh was bruised and punctured, but the exhilaration of joining battle had overtaken him, and he had set about beating the books and the clocks, and the china to smithereens. Like a man in a cloud of locusts, he ran around the room, bringing down his favorite books in a welter of fluttering pages, smashing, whirling Dresden, shattering the lamps. A litter of broken possessions swamped the floor, some of it still twitching as the life went out of the fragments, but for every object brought low, there were a dozen still spinning, still whining. He could hear Gina at the door yelling at him to get out, to leave it alone. But it was so enjoyable playing against the enemy more directly than he'd ever allowed himself before. He didn't want to give up. He wanted the demon to show itself, to be known, to be recognized. He wanted confrontation with the Old One's emissary once and for all. Without warning, the tree gave way to the delicate, to the dictates of the centrifuge force and exploded. The noise was like a howl of death. Branches, twigs, needles, balls, lights, wire, ribbons flew across the room. Jack, his back to the explosion, felt a gust of energy hit him hard and he was flung to the ground. The back of his neck and his scalp were shot full of pine needles. A branch, naked of greenery, shot past his head and impaled the sofa. Fragments of tree pattered to the carpet around him. Now other objects around the room. Now other objects around the room spun beyond the tolerance of their structures were exploding like the tree. The television blew up, sending a lethal wave of glass across the room, much of which buried itself in the opposite wall. Fragments of the television's innards, so hot they singed the skin, fell on Jack as he elbowed him himself towards the door like a soldier under bombardment. The room was so thick with a barrage of shards, it was like a fog. The cushions had lent there down to the scene, snowing on the carpet. Porcelain pieces, a beautifully glazed arm, a courtesan's head, bounced on the floor in front of his nose. Okay, we gotta stop there. Because it's daytime. Let's reclaim as much wood as I can, and then, uh... Oh, don't do that. Okay. Save. Oh, 
we got some cows. We got three cows. That's a backpack. I gotta kill those cows. Doesn't look like there's too many denizens. Denizens, let's see. Yeah. Only slightly faster than my hand. Right? Yeah. Oh, come on. That's a lot more. This is way too many. Okay. Plan B. That's not the village I came from. There's no way. I feel like I traveled a lot further. I'm gonna have to head that way though if, when I attempt to try to lose these assholes. Okay, here we go. Shit. Didn't even see that guy. Hi. Well, at least we got an assembly line here. Step right up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. Trying to just dodge them long enough that they'll stop chasing me. Anything in here? Nope. Spooky. Wow. Part of the town is down there. Shit. I need stone. Maybe I'll just grab a bit of stone. Yeah, it's not too bad. A bit of coal. I can make another stone axe when I need to. Okay, don't get too greedy. Okay, let's go. Uh, did I actually pick them up? Okay, good. Let's go. Not sure what that is. No cows. Oh, too bad. Oh, a little bit more of the town, though. Might as well take a look. I don't want your hay bales. Oh. Oh, I want a bucket of lava. Uh, can't possibly make one. Zombie sheep. Give me that meat. 
the zombie sheep meat? What are you? Tanner? Dyer? Oh, I don't have... I don't have a shirt on. Oh, here. I can dump off some stuff on you. What can I give you? Take my apples. I'm taking one of your torches. Bye! zombie sheep okay well I might as well get the mutton right Ooh. Got a tower over there a oh, hello builder oh shit oh shit oh my god chicken almost murked me Oh, I got a minor infection, too. Okay. Seriously? I can't reach you? Ah! Okay. Okay, I need to be able to pick up the meat. Yeah, fuck those bones, fuck that. Okay, can I pick up that? Thank you. Is that it? Oh my god. This is something. We got a little camp here. What we got? <gasps> Gunpowder, gold, and a <laughs> shiny axe. Okay. I gotta give some things up. I don't need to have multiple cookers. I can build a chest later. Uh, don't need this wool. Okay, well. While I have space, I guess I'll hang on to that. Uh, I can't camp here, though. This would not be a good idea. The wizard's tower over there. What did I pick up? Oh, you know what I need to do? Here, let's do this. Switch that around. Eat this lone pork chop I have. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Um. Fuck it, that's fine. It doesn't seem to be actually night yet, so I'm gonna head this way. <gasps> Horses mean leather. I can get these before nightfall, that would be amazing. I'm so sorry. Oh no. I don't know what saw me, but I'm running chickens. No, you don't. Not today, devil. Can I pick up feathers? Hell yeah. Okay. Spending the night in this tower. I think they are they're attracted to doors, so let's just take the doors right off. And just fill that in. Okay. Fire resistance, luck, sticks. Ah, cool. Put some light in here and go up. Oh.
Oh, ho, ho. Cool. Cool. For now. Okay, I definitely want those. Okay. What am I doing? Can I make the backpack? No. What am I missing? Do I need more iron? String, leather. Oh, I need a chest, right? Is that what I got? Yes. Just one chest. Boom. Backpack. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, finally. So let's store that. Um, all the basics, all the basics. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, no food. That needs to be cooked. Those both need to be cooked, which I can do that right now, because so far, so good. We're not... Oh, I should go down and get that stuff. Before they break in down here. Take that. Don't really need that. I'll leave it. Okay, we are never going down there again. Perfect. Okay, I'll take that. Do I want mushrooms for anything? It's not worth it to carry that much stew around. These aren't enchanted, but I think they still give they give me some benefits. I should have that handy. Alright, I'm still sort of sorting my shit out here. Uh put the fire charges away. Potions for now. Look at that. Look at that. Um, smoker. Just go for it. Do what you need to do. I see zombie groans. I see rainfalls and that's it. Good so far. They're not... None of them have been uh, alerted to me, so they shouldn't be trying to break in, I don't think. I took their doors away. Which seems, to, I think, that seems to be the wild card. I gotta, I gotta try to remember that. If they, if they like, if their AI targets doors, take the doors away. Just board it up. Like this. This feels like such a zombie <laughs> apocalypse game now. Because I'm like, hell no. You're not getting in here. Not today. Hmm. Mutton's the same, eh? Cool. So. Wow. I have a lot of food. I'm going to put the food on the bottom row here. All the edibles. Oops. Those are really good to have. Survival's about sooner than later, so maybe we'll start with those. <laughs> I'll have that handy. I need torches. More than I have here. Oh, shit. Didn't realize we were in the dark. Um, let's go for more. Cool. Oh, I have enough cobble to make an axe. 
Okay, I'll consider that my backup there. Gotta use this first. Oh, I need a block spot. Okay. It's so hard. Damn it. Okay, I guess it just depends on what I'm trying to do. There we go. Store that. Store that. Oh, uh, actually, I need those sticks. Cool. Ready to... Actually, you know what? Let's have that a little more handy. There we go. Same with the sticks. We'll leave those out. That looks good. This looks tight. Tight and organized. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to know that it's daytime until it says. Oh, you know, also, because I'm so, I'm so close to the ground right now. There's going to be like a million zombies out there. It's ridiculous. It's going to be ridiculous. But so far, so good. I only see ground. So let's just let's, uh, get back to the story. I see bottle fills. I don't like that. I just gotta keep, I gotta keep a side eye out for, uh, block placement or block breaking. Okay. For now we're okay though. Oh yeah, everything was exploding. And he was elbowing his way towards the door. The room was so thick with a barrage of shards, it was like a fog. No, we did that. Uh, Gina was crouching at the door, urging him to hurry. Her eyes narrowed against the hail. As Jack reached the door and felt her arms around him, he swore he could hear laughter from the lounge. Tangible, audible laughter, rich and satisfied. Amanda was standing in the hall, her hair full of pine needles, staring down at him. He pulled his legs through the doorway, and Gina slammed the door shut on the demolition. What is it? she demanded. Poltergeist? Ghosts? Mother's ghosts? The thought of his dead wife being responsible for such wholesale destruction struck Jack as funny. Amanda, Amanda was half smiling. Good, he thought. He's coming out of it. Then he met the vacant look in her eyes and the truth dawned. She'd broken. Her sanity had taken refuge where this... F fantastic... Fantastique couldn't get at. What's in there? Gina was asking, her grip on his arm so strong it stopped the blood. I don't know. Amanda? Amanda smiled in decay. She just stared at him through... the through him. You do know. No. You're lying. I, I think. He picked himself off the floor, brushing the pieces of porcelain, the feathers, the glass, off his shirt and trousers. I think I shall go for a walk. Behind him in the lounge, the last vestiges of whining had stopped. The air in the hallway was electric with unseen presences. It was very close to him, invisible as ever, but so close. This was the most dangerous time. He mustn't lose his nerve now. He must stand up as though nothing had happened. He must leave Amanda be, leave explanations and recriminations until it was all over and done with. Walk? Yes, walk. I need some fresh air. You can't leave us here. I'll find somebody to help us clear up. But Mandy, she'll get over it. Leave her be. 
That was hard. That was almost unforgivable. But it was said now. But it was said now. Okay, we gotta stop because it's day six. Oh boy. I'm leading them to the water. Fuck. All. Y'all. I'm drowning ya. Oh my god. Come on. Come on, get in. Get in, come on, you can see me. Come on, come and get me. Did I come from that direction? Uh, I think I might have. So I am going to want to go into the water then and probably boat off. Is this working? Doesn't look like it's working enough. So... With a bit of luck. Always could use more leather. Thank you. What? Amazing. Ooh. Oh. That's just fun looking. Alright, we got a bunch of zombie animals. I don't care. Oh, shit. That surprised me. the city. That's just terrible. Oh, is this a shrine? I haven't tried to do this. What? I can take these with me? Okay. Anything underneath? No. Okay. Huh. Good to know. Damn. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is a big ass city. Look at that. That's pretty wild. Ooh, there's a chest up there. Do I have an easy way up? Not really. I'm gonna go for it. Oh.
Is this it? This is just on the third floor? Oh! <gasps> Redstone. String. Fuck whatever that is. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Get the screenshot. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Come on. This thing is so useful to have. Better not be looks a little too heavily wooded for my for my taste. I'm gonna go this way instead. I assume I've lost him, right? Jeez. Zombie groans. Hasn't spotted me yet. No, I don't want to go this way. Maybe I can go through this way. Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it'll be... Nope, ignoring you. Not attacking your territory. Ooh, melons. I'm okay for food. If it was day one, I would be grabbing that up. I'm okay. Hummingbird. How oh, lovely. Yeah, man. Yeah. Zombie pig. I'm running away from food. I haven't encountered anything in a little while. Okay, okay, enough. Besides, I could use the feathers. Come here. I need to find some gravel, actually. Yeah, that's lava. Don't go that way. Oh, shit. Where'd he come from? Wee. Let's go. Wow. I'm really going for it. Gotta be surgical about this. Hell yeah. Like that. I mean, sure. And the bread. Okay, we just go, we just go, we just go. Whoa. Whoa, hey, hey. Don't do that. No, 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 no. Oh, this is so frustrating. I don't know why it does that. Load your shit. What's going on? Is it just... Is it tired? What are you doing? Nope. Uh, 
Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. All right, well, that didn't tell me much, but we move on. It's working now. Is it? Oh, it's about to be dusk. Shit. I don't really find any good area. This is just going to be a bad situation. Didn't I come from right here? I did. I got turned around. I want to be near the water because it does seem to help. Actually, this is great. Much out there as I can, like right here. That's fine. One last look around before it gets dark. All right, here we go. I've been running out of blocks, haven't I? I'm going to consider that enough. Let's just build my little platform. Doesn't super duper matter if they spot me up here, so I'm not going to do a great job. I can get a wave if it gets real bad. Well, I might consider. There. It's a bit of a corner here. Okay. Goddess statue. Goddess statue. What is the crafting recipe? Goron style? And I can just make it back into a regular one. Interesting. Kakariku style. Am I just dressing it up? That's cute. I don't know what else I can do with it. Hold on. Anything else? Come on. There they are. Horn statue, cursed paraglider. No. Not much. Retrieves all her containers as you consumed. Retrieves? I need those. Deku leaf? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that. Okay. Oh, yeah, how do I make it? I can just dye them. Oh, my goodness. Um, what do I need to do? I, I need to... Nah. I don't need to cook. Squirrel all my my goodies away. That I don't want. So with this Oh wait, could I make I don't think I have enough wood. Can I make a patch? No. Oh, because the patch needed iron. That's right. Okay. Not quite yet. We're not even at iron axe stage. Jeez. 
Uh, that's garbage. That, I'm, I guess I'm gonna hang on to this just in case I get a horse. I don't even have a saddle, but... Whatevs. Okay. That's good enough. Let's get back to the story. Oh, yes, he's going for a walk. <laughs> uh, she'll get over it. Leave her be. That was hard. That was almost unforgivable. But it was said now. He walked unsteadily towards the front door, feeling nauseous after so much spinning. At his back, Gina was raging. You can't just leave. Are you out of your mind? I need the air, he said, as casually as his thumping heart and his parched throat would permit. So I'll just go out for a moment. No, thought the Addering. The Addering said, no, no, no. It was behind him. Polo could feel it. So angry now, so ready to twist off his head. Except it wasn't allowed ever to touch him but he could feel its resentment like a physical presence. He took another step towards the front door. It was all with, it was with him still, do uh, dogging his every step, his shadow, his fetch, unshakable. Gina shrieked at him. You son of a bitch. Look at Mandy. She's lost her mind. No, he mustn't look at Mandy. If he looked at Mandy, he might weep. He might break down at as the thing wanted him to, then everything would be lost. She'll be all right, he said, barely above a whisper. He reached for the front door handle. The demon bolted the door quickly, loudly. No temper left for pretense now. Jack, keeping his movements as even as possible, unbolted the door, top and bottom, and it bolted again. It was thrilling, this game. It was also terrifying. If you pushed too far, surely the demon's frustration would override its lessons. <laughs> gently, smoothly, he unbolted the door again. Just as gently, just as smoothly, the Addering bolted it. Jack wondered how long he could keep this up for. Somehow he had to get outside. He had to coax it over the threshold. One step was all that the law required, according to his researches. One simple step. Unbolted, bolted, unbolted, bolted. Jean was standing two or three yards even behind her father. She didn't understand what she was seeing, but it was obvious her father was doing battle with someone or something. Daddy, she began. Shut up, he said benignly, grinning as he unbolted the door for the seventh time. There was a shiver of lunacy in the grin. It was too wide, too easy. Inexplicably, she returned the smile. It was grim, but genuine. Whatever was at issue here, she loved him. Polo made a break for the back door. The demon was three paces ahead of him, scooting through the house like a sprinter and bolting the door before Jack had even reached the handle. The key was turned in the lock by invisible hands then crushed to dust in the air. Jack feigned a move towards the window beside the back door, but the blinds were pulled down and the shutters slammed. The Addering, too concerned with the window to watch Jack closely, missed his double backing through the house. When it saw the trick that was being played, it let out a little screech and gave chase, almost sliding into Jack on the smoothly polished floor. It avoided the collision only by the most uh, ballet, balladic of maneuvers. That would be a fatal indeed. That would be fatal indeed to touch the man in the heat of the moment. Polo was again at the front door, and Gina, wise to her father's strategy, had unbolted it while the Addering had Jack and Jack fought at the back door. Jack had prayed she'd taken this opportunity to open it, and she had. It stood slightly ajar. The icy air of the crisp afternoon curled its way into the hallway. Oh, damn it. Okay, page 54. Come on, reload. Borrow again. 
courtesy of the Internet Archive. There we go. Oh, and it's daylight again. Oh, boy, there's zombies. Jack covered the last yards to the door in a flash, feeling without hearing the howl of complaint the Yattering loosed, at, loosed as it saw its victim escape, escaping into the world outside. It was not an ambitious creature. All it wanted at that moment beyond any other dream was to take this human skull between its palms and make nonsense of it, crush it to smithereens and pour, a, pour the hot thought out of, onto the snow. To be done with Jack J. Polo forever and ever. Was that so much to ask? And that's what we'll stop. Oop, or pause for now. Day seven. Okay. I got a couple of friends here, but not too many. I do want to keep all this uh, wood as much as possible, so let's start collecting that. Uh, oh, maybe we'll save those carrots and eat. Oh, no, not raw. Yeah, some rabbit. Let's just put some rabbit in my diet. Okay. Okay. Here we go. They're gonna see me. Oh, some of them despawned? Or am I too high up that I can't hear them yet? Well, they're running. Okay. This is fine. This is super manageable. I have to remember this coastal trick whenever I can. Oh, I'm so disoriented from before. I think I want to go that way. Alright, getting close. Builders. Step right up. Come on. Hell yeah. Couldn't have turned out better. Uh, just drop some of that bullshit. <laughs> Let that despawn. Get out of there. Okay. I thought there was some gravel nearby, too. I must have missed it. Oh, interesting. Stay in the water, asshole. need flint so bad. Nope. I'm not gonna fuck with the water though. Let's keep going. So I need to find a gravel beach and just make a shovel on the spot. Okay. It feels like I'm going the right way. Wait. This looks familiar. 
Oh, man. Better not be going in circles. Oh, I'm going to need more building blocks, too. Jeez. I'm going to have to stop and cut some something down. Okay. Good timing. You know what? Let's just do it right now. Shovel, let's go. If I don't get it now, I can always redo that later. Okay. I got two, so that's enough to make a gun. I don't have enough iron, though. Don't care. Going for this. Obsidian, kind of good. It's kind of enough for a portal. Isn't it? Huh. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, did not want to get trapped down there. We got a lot going on here. Not a lot in terms of loot, but that's fine. Oh, we got a city. And we got another inn nearby, which is fantastic. I don't know what saw me, but I'm just going to ignore it. It's fully daylight. I can get, get the little that this place will actually have. Oh, come on. Zombie chicken. I don't have any emeralds. Bud? No. Cool. What are you trading? Uh, nope. And that's it for this place. Okay. Big old house of nothing. Oh, another shrine over there. Oh, yeah. I never experimented with uh, putting the putting the statue down and seeing if I can use it. If that's possible. Ooh. Means I can get upgrades anywhere. How did that hurt you, bud? Oh, because your friend shot you. Are we good? Are we good? All right. Easy wood. I'm taking it. Oh, jeez. 
I don't like that it does that ever. Get him. Yay. Thank you. Ah. Ah, stop doing that. What the f Okay, we go. We go now. We go now. We just, we go now. Bye. I'm sorry if you all die. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know what? I'll do you a favor. I'll run away a bit before pillaring. Right here is fine. That wall, that actually might help a bit. Let's just go put this full stack up. Come on. Oh yeah, there's definitely spawners in that one. Damn. Going further up. Oh, there's a stable nearby. And a holding cell. Good to know. There's no way to get away from those noises. How far, how high up do I have to go? Be the nearby town. I have to decide if the stable's worth it. It'll have hay, which I haven't really bothered with yet. Um. Does hay cushion near fall? I forget. Inventory full? Okay. Let's cook the food this time. Save me some uh, inventory slots. Do I have coal? Using that heat, let's go. Hmm. What do I need? I feel like I need a backup axe already. I should do that. I'll do that. So I should see about getting more uh, flint from this gravel, but. It also seems super dangerous. Oh yeah, I was here for an axe. I'm like, what am I staring at for? I already have a shovel. 
That's all I need. Yeah. Cool, that works out. Mm, let's take an up an inventory slot. Let's use it first. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Looks like time was used wisely. Hmm. Wait, is that only from this perspective? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's not have that sound then. Three hours so far. Oh yeah, what's real time? Tentacle. Be done with Jack J. Polo forever and ever. Was that so much to ask? Polo had... Oh, come on. Oh, uh, Polo had stepped into the squeaky fresh snow. His slippers and trousers bottoms buried in chill. By the time the fury reached the step, Jack was already there, or three or four yards away, marching up the path towards the gate, escaping, escaping. The Adderang howled again, forgetting its years of training. Every lesson it had learned, every rule of battle engraved on its skull was submerged by the simple desire to have Polo's life. It stepped over the threshold and gave chase. It was an unpardonable transgression. Somewhere in hell, the powers, long may they hold court, long may they shit light on the heads of the damned, felt the sin and knew the war for Jack Polo's soul was lost. Jack felt it too. He heard the sound of boiling water as the demon's footsteps melted to steam to steam the snow on the path. It was coming after him. The thing had broken the first rule of his existence. It was forfeit. He felt the victory in his spine and his stomach. The demon overtook him at the gate. Its breath could clearly be seen in the air, though the body it emanated from had yet to become visible. Jack tried to open the gate, but the Adderings slammed it shut. Okay, sirrah, sirrah, said Jack. The Adderine could bear it no longer. He took Jack's head in his hands, intending to crush the fragile bone to dust. The touch was its second sin, and it agonized the Adderine beyond endurance. It bayed like a banshee and reeled away from the contact, sliding in the snow and falling on its back. It knew its mistake. The lessons that had been beaten in that had beaten into it became came hurtling back. It knew the punishment too for leaving the house, for touching the man. It was bound to a new lord, enslaved to this idiot creature standing over it. Polo had won. He was laughing, watching the way the outline of the demon formed in the snow on the path. Like a photograph developing on a sheet of paper, the image of the fury came clear. The law was taking its toll. The Yattering could never hide from its master again. There it was, plain to Polo's eyes and all of its charmless glory. Maroon flesh and bright lidless eyes, arms flailing, tail thrashing, the snow to slush. You bastard, it said. Its accent had an Australian lint lilt. You will not speak unless spoken to, said Polo with quiet but absolute authority. Yeah, my boy. Understood. 
lidless eyes clouded with humility. Yes, the Addering said. Yes, Mr. Polo. Yes, Mr. Polo. Its tail slipped between its legs like that of a whipped dog. You may stand. Thank you, Mr. Polo. It stood, not a pleasant sight, but one Jack rejoiced in nevertheless. Oh, they'll have you yet. Who will? You know. Name them. Beelzebub, it answered, proud to name its old master. The powers, hell itself. I don't think so, Polo mused. Not with you bound to me as proof of my skills. Aren't I the better of them? The eye looked sullen. Aren't I? Yes, it conceded bitterly. Yes, you are the better of them. It had begun to shiver. Okay, we gotta stop there. And this is, it starts raining. I, great, 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 great. What day are we on? Day eight? It's not bad. I'm making it further every time, I feel. Or nearly every time. Oh, yeah. All right, let's deal with whatever mess is down there. No. I'm trying to think if there's anything going to be in the stable that I want at this point. Do I have a saddle? No, I have horse armor. I mean... Yeah, there's all the makings. I don't know if I really want a horse, but... I could. I could get one. I think I could even make a lead. But that would be really hard, too, because... There's not a lot of places I'd be able to take it. Huh. I might stop about there. No sounds. See if I can get to that roof. Come on, come on. Okay. I'm really hoping I can take out some spawners. That's my that's my goal. While I'm over here. While it's daylight. There we go. No. No. Okay, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Oh, nobody can even come up here. Perfect. They could fall down, though. That would be terrifying. Okay. Oh, there's two right there. Okay, now getting those is a different thing altogether. Go. Okay. Fuck yeah. And that's enough to redeem, too. 
Okay. Let's get out of this place. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is what is happening? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Let's go for this roof. Yeah, they're fully coming for me up here, too. They shouldn't fully be able to see me right now, so I'm just gonna go. Uh, they're breaking down doors. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, boy. Let's go. <laughs> Lighthouse. Amazing. Oh, jeez. That's only one guy. Let's do it. Two, three. I'll kill you. Let's go. Wow. Okay, lighthouse, here we come. Terrible, 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 terrible sounds. I hate it. Okay, you take care of- Whoa! Don't shoot me, assholes. Oh, fuck it. I need to loot. God, where did they all come from? Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. The fuck? Oh, they're coming too. Okay. Okay. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Oh. Oh my. God. Holy shit. Holy shit. Fair distraction. Okay, I need to become sight unseen immediately. Okay, they can't see me anymore. And I have a clear, pretty clear shot to get at the lighthouse. In fact, let's take this opportunity to toss those. Okay. Wow. Hey! Cool. Um, let's go with stamina. Cool. And I can just bring this around with me. That's amazing. Uh, if I find other ones, I'm going to have to, like, make one of each kind. When I get a second backpack, that is. Okay. Garbage. Keep that. This is clutch. If I can find some lava, that'll be next level. Okay, lots of swords. Okay. 
it's daylight too. I can't leave here until I've gotten rid of them somehow. I gotta look though. Oh. Okay. They're starting to lose interest. Sort of. Um. Yeah. I don't want to be wet. There we go. Come on. Not being a silly little render. Let me just do this. Thank you. Just looking down, what, that far? Just slightly below? Okay, now we're good. Alright, whatever. You sort yourself out. Um. Yeah, I guess we're gonna read until... The rain stops and it's daylight, or it's... Next day. I'll try to just go the next day. At the beginning of the next day. Yeah, it's already getting dark. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, the jattering began to shiver. Are you cold? asked Polo. It nodded, affecting the look of a lost child. Then you need some exercise, he said. You better go back into the house and start tidying up. The Fury looked bewildered, even disappointed by this instruction. Nothing more? it asked incredulously. No miracles? No... Helen of Troy, no flying. The thought of flying on a snow-spattered afternoon like this left Polo cold. He was essentially a man of simple taste. All he asked for in life was the love of his children, a pleasant home, and a good trading price for Kirkins. <laughs> no flying, he said. As the outering slouched down the path towards the door, it seemed to alight upon a new piece of mischief. It turned back to Polo obsequious and unmistakably smug. Could I just say something? It said. Speak. It's only fair that I inform you it is considered ungodly to have any contact with the likes of me. Heretical, even. Is that so? Oh, yes, said the Yattering, warming to its prophecy. People have been burned for less. Not in this day and age, Polo replied. But the seraphim will see, it said, and that means you'll never go to that place. What place? The Addering fumbled for the special word it had heard Beelzebub use. Heaven, it said, triumphant. An ugly grin had come onto its face. This was the cleverest maneuver it had ever attempted. It was, ju it was juggling theology here. Jack nodded slowly, nibbling at his bottom lip. The creature was probably telling the truth. Association with it or its like could not be looked upon benignly by the host of saints and angels. It probably was forbidden to access the plains of paradise. Well, he said, you know what I have to say about that, don't you? The addering stared at him, frowning. No, it didn't know. Then the grin of satisfaction had been... It had been wearing dyed as it just saw that Polo was what was Polo was driving at. What do I say? Polo asked it. De defeated, the chattering muttered, 
the phrase, Hey, Sarah, Sarah. Polo smiled. There's a chance for you yet, he said, and led the way over to the threshold, closing the door with something very like serenity on his face. That was good. I kind of half remembered this one as I started reading it. But, um, no, I like the punchline nevertheless. I know it's just a short story that, I mean, not just a short story, it's a Clive Barker short story. Um, but I kind of, I wish there was a little bit more resolution with the daughters there, like how Paulo even began to imagine he was going to like be begin to explain this or 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 you know rectify things with his uh, with Amanda, the one that became like kind of broken from it. I guess it's pretty easy if you have command of a demon, just be like, "Hey, this thing's real. It's been haunting me, and we just won over it." feel less insane, I guess. Anyway. Um, we're on to the next one. Pig Blood Blues. Hmm. I don't remember it from its name. Ooh, we're a third of the way through this book. That's great. Pig Blood Blood Blues. You could smell the kids before you could see them. Their young sweat turned stale in corridors with barred windows, their bolted breath sour, their heads musty. Then their voices, subdued by the rules of confinement. Don't run. Don't shout. Don't whistle. Don't fight. They called, in, they called it a romance center for adolescent offenders, but it was near as damn it a prison. There were locks and keys and warders. The gestures of liberalism were few and far between, and they didn't disguise the truth too well. Tethered down was a prison by a sweeter name, and the inmates knew it. Not that Redmond had any illusions. Hold on a second. Am I sitting in the dark? Yeah, not sitting in the dark. That's better. Uh, da, da, da. Not that Redman had any illusions about his pupils to be. They were hard, and they were locked away for a reason. Turn the camera. There we go. Uh, most of them were would rob you blind as soon as look at you, cripple you if it suited them, no sweat. He had too many years in the force to believe the sociological lie. He knew the victims, and he knew the kids. They weren't misunderstood morons. They were quick, sharp, and amoral, like the razors they hid under their tongues. They had no use for sentiment. They just wanted out. Let's say right away, a cab. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Welcome to Tetherdown. Was the woman's name Laverden or Leverfall or... I'm Dr. Leverthal. Ah, Leverthal, yes. Hard-bitten bitch he'd met at. We met at the interview. Yes. Oh, we're, glad to uh, we're glad to see you, Mr. Redmond. Neil, please call me Neil. We try not to go on a first-name basis in front of the boys. We find they think they've got a finger into your private life, so I'd prefer you to keep Christian names purely off-duty hours. She didn't offer hers. Probably something flinty. Vaughn, Lydia. He'd invent something appropriate. She looked 50 and was probably 10 years younger. No makeup. Hair tied back so severely he wondered her eyes didn't pop. Uh, 
You'll be beginning classes the day after tomorrow. The governor asked me to welcome you to the center on his behalf and apologize that, uh, to you that he can't be here himself. There are funding problems. Are there always? Regrettably, yes. I'm afraid we're swimming against uh, the tide here. The general mood of the country is very law and order oriented. Oh, looks like uh, it's daylight. I'm not even sure who's talking. If it's him or her. Not enough context. Okay. I can hear a lot of footsteps, so that's not a good sign. Ooh. Reclaim my blocks. Oop. Yeah, day nine. Huh. Oh, wow, there's a lot. Okay. A lot less in this direction. I can make it. I don't want to give up on this. Oh, I don't want to give up on this area already, but I think I have to. There's no way I can compete with that. Where's the pillar startup from? Pillar is here. Okay. Hmm. Where did I come from? I came from here, right? Yeah, I came across when I saw this. Yeah. So I can just keep going that way. Okay. Not a lot of the, none, none of them have really noticed me. Just, just as well. I'll try to go for those go, go for those treetops. Oh the sound. Oh my god the sound. Oh, 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 come on. No, don't do that. Oh, shit. Come on, 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 come on. Okay, let's go, let's go. What kind of ship is that? Bad ship. I still have a seagull on me, do I? I don't want to go that way at all. Alright, we're going into the water. Um, let's get some other food out. Oh, I have more steaks. Let's do that. Fuck, I've died on the water before from those skeleton things, too. I hope I don't encounter one. I'll try to stick to the coast. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go. And the first sign of it, I'll just... What am I going to do? Pillar up. Okay, there's some tasty treasure. Come on, be worth it, be worth it. Okay. 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 Sure. Awesome. Amazing. One more chest. <laughs> I don't know how, but I'm going to put that to good use. Okay. Okay, now we get out of here. Now we got to survive. <laughs> Not encounter things that are just going to mark me in one go hit. Ah, get away from me, flying fish. Get. 
the fuck is that? Whoa. Is this a ship? That's oh, a ship. I don't care. I don't stop for any of that. Nope. I would prefer land soon. That would be great. I don't care about fishing boats. Okay. You know it would be swell? A plains biome. Can you give me a grassland? Can you give me... Ooh, really cool um, village. Like a, like a castle. I'll light that shit up. Oh, okay. There's no... There's no baddie around. Oh, there's a whale. So far, so good. Uh, take the coal. Okay, move. Sword. That. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cool. <clears throat> Okay, no thanks. <laughs> oh fuck no. No, no. No. Uh yeah, I guess it's still daylight. Let's keep going. There's a beach there. That's a good sign. Sort that out after. Alright, let's take a look around. <clears throat> Whoa. Oh, fuck. No. I don't want to lose the little food that I do have. What the hell? Okay. Oh. There we go. And away we go. Oh, no, no. to trees it's so dark oh my goodness there's so many of them really desperately need to find a good spot to land it's gonna be dark again soon this is looking like it god there's so many Where am I gonna go? I could, I could, I could pillar up on the barge. I'll be actually pretty safe over here. I don't know what that is nearby, but we'll just ignore that. Oops. Hell yeah. Sure. What am I missing? Oh, I need pants. All right, I'll take the pants. Cool, magic pants. So let's do this. Okay. Let's try 
try to recover this. This will make less spawnable area for these assholes. Dark. What's in this? Let's cut this down. Cool. Good enough. I think I'm safe enough here. I should have put down some torches in hindsight, but I think it'll be fine. Oops. <clears throat> okay. Who's the thing I could see? Oh, it was land? Is that what it was? I think that was the general direction I was going. I don't know anymore. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take stock. This mob stuff does. I always see it in the recipe list, but never bother with it. Okay. Cool. A lot of good resources in there. Oh, put the bread in there. Do I have? Yeah, I got weed in there. Sweet. I could go to the nether now. I don't think I've ever been in the nether in this modded up version. It could mean instant death. Uh, do we got coal? No. Actually. Okay. I make some decisions here. I'm carrying a lot, like, kind of, kind of carrying a lot of crap. But I'm actually fine with all of this here. I'm gonna make torches out of that piece and keep all those. Let's do that first. Okay. Iron should be in there. So armor can go. Slab can go. Oh, uh. Okay. Okay, so that's it for the backpack. Now I just have I have some random blocks right now. So I should use the gravel first. Yeah, that's a building block. I need to keep that. Just put it over there. There we go. This goes here. So many swords. Uh, and then the TNT can go in the backpack. The sacks out, whatever. Don't have a lot of slots to work with here. 
Do I have enough for another backpack? Is it how much? I do. I can make it. I can make a second backpack. Let's do that. Um, let's get string and that. First, we start with making a chest. Boom. Second backpack. I know this is why you color code them. Oh, wait a second. So then what happens when I hit B? Which one am I looking at? How do I... Mistakes. Some mistakes were made. Okay, what if it's in my hand? Can I just... Okay. So then if I go B... I'll, I'll never be able to access this one again. What's going on? Do I have to... Okay, what if I do this? So right click. I get that one. Hit B. I also get that one. Okay, good. That was the right one. <laughs> I'm like if it's gonna if it's gonna mess up my inventory like that, I'm not gonna <clears throat> I'm not gonna fuck with that. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that was my crafting table. Here. Let's free up a bunch of slots. Look at that. All right, I think I can do some reading from here. Where are we? Ah. Hmm, one second here. Okay, so I think he's the one who's joining up with this place, and she she works there. So, so far, I think I got the the back and forth correct. <clears throat> hmm. Regrettably, yes. I'm afraid we're swimming against the tide here. The general mood of the country is very law and order oriented. What was, what was that? A uh, nice way of saying. Eat the shit out of any, of any kid caught so much as jaywalking. Yes, he'd been that way himself in his time, but it was a nasty little cul-de-sac every bit as bad as being sentimental. The fact is, we may lose Tether Down altogether, she said. Which would be a shame. I know it doesn't look like much. But it's home, he laughed. The joke fell among thieves. She didn't seem to even hear it. You... Her tone hardened. You have a solid, they say, or did she say sullied, uh, background in the police force. Our hope is that your appointment here will be welcomed by the funding authorities. Ah, so that was it. <clears throat> Token ex policemen brought in to appease the powers that be, show the willing in the discipline department. They didn't really want uh, him here. They wanted some sociologists who'd write up reports on the effects of the class system on brutality amongst teenagers. She was quietly telling him that he was the odd man out. I told you why I left the force. You mentioned it. Uh, invalided out. It wouldn't take, I wouldn't take a desk job. It was as simple as that. And they wouldn't let me do what I did best. Danger to myself, according to some of them. She seemed a little embarrassed by his explanation. Her a psychologist, too. She should have been devouring the stuff. It was his private hurt he was mis making public here. He was coming clean, for Christ's sake. Man, he does not like psychologists. So I was out on my backside after 24 years. He hesitated, and then he said his piece. I'm not a token policeman. I'm not any kind of policeman. The force and I parted company. Understand what I'm saying? Good, good. 
He didn't understand a bloody word. He tried another approach. I'd like to know what the boys have been told. Been told? About me. Well, something of your background. I see. They've been warned. Here comes the pigs. It seemed important. He grunted. You see, so many of these boys have real aggression problems. Okay, we gotta stop there. Pause, rather. Deal with this. Okay, so I got land there, I got land there. I think this is the direction I was heading. Day 10. Hmm. <clears throat> Four hours in, yeah, that makes about sense. Even though I, I had that first playthrough that got a few days in. Nice. Nothing to meet me. Take another look around the ocean. Seems as safe as it's ever going to be. Got the water yet? No. One. Oh, shit. Nope, 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 nope. Dinner's not served, boys. Nope. Calm the fuck down. We're going this way. Let's go. Right? Wait. Wait, where's the thing that I saw? Is it this? Is my, was I going the wrong way? I think it was that. Okay. Cool. I don't entirely remember, but we'll f soon find out if I've been here. Haven't been here. Ooh, that's fucking great. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, pants? Yes, please. Hey, we did it. Here, you can have those. Wow. Oh, can't put that in there. I have so many swords. I don't need this many swords. Cool. Uh, there's one more right here. What we got? Nothing. All right. Keep a careful eye on the water. Okay. This is promising. Yeah, that tower's not. No iron. Damn. Okay, I'm just gonna follow this beach. Fuck, now this... Oh, this is the city it was pointing to. Okay. Do not want. Not a good time. Keep checking out these rocks, though. Let's... I see it underwater, but I can't go underwater. Oh. Let's go for it. We'll stay in third person for that. And oh, so much gravel. OK, 
Okay, I feel like going ashore and at least checking it out. Get out of the water. Just, I consider the water like lava at this point. Like, yeah, no, we're not. Don't, you don't stay on it. Okay. Hoping maybe I can catch some surface ore. Okay, not worried about those guys. Oh. Nothing? Damn. Oh, hey. I'm not going through the woods. Not going through the woods. Nope. I'm here just for iron prospecting. Fuck me, Gil. Shit. Um. Wee. And away we go. I got a lot of armor this time. I think this is maybe the most armored I've ever been. <clears throat> It's not the most armed I've ever been. Like, I could have a diamond axe, that would be swell. Diamond axe, diamond gun. Fuck, I'd be happy with an iron gun. I hope I'm not going in circles. Oh, damn it. You gotta smudge my makeup. Oh shit! Oh shit! No, 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 no! It was the skellywag. It killed me last time. Mm-hmm. Oh, that hurts. What day did I get to? It wasn't that far in. Day it was still only day ten. Wow. This is where I started to. Oh yeah. Just wanna have a quick look under Graham. I really looked at the ge generation. Some of these mods do. Alright, looks pretty standard. Hmm. Oh, wow, that took some wind out of my sails. Okay, enough of that. Hmm. What do we do? I'm about, what, four hours in? If that can be trusted. What time is it? 11 o'clock? Yeah, I think I'm about ready to call it, maybe. At least for this, I think, um, gave it a good run. 
Oh, there was a vagabond. Or no, there's this tree thing right here. Holy hell. Right near the start. Right where I started. And look at that. Are you kidding me? Are you Free fucking ridiculous. I didn't even notice the castle turret. There was so much around the starting point, too. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I didn't add uh, world. We were on world 20. So, let's start the next world and get one last little bit of reading in and have it all ready for the next uh, go. Bit. Oh, yeah. More world options. Blah. Oh. Let me do this. Haha. -ha. Uh, where the hell are we? Do, do, do. Ah, yes. You see, so many of these boys have real aggression problems. They're, that's a source of a difficulty for so many of them. They can't control themselves, and consequently they suffer. He didn't argue, but she looked at him severely as though he had. <gasps> oh yes, they suffer. That's why we're at such pains to show some appreciation of their situation. To teach them that there are there are alternatives. She walked across to the window. From the second story, there was an adequate view of the grounds. Tethertown had been some kind of a state, and there was a good deal of land attached to the main house. A playing field, its grass uh, sear in the midsummer drought. Uh, beyond it, a cluster of outhouses some exhausted trees, shrubbery, and then rough wasteland off to the wall. He'd see... He'd seen the wall from the other side. Alcatraz would have been proud of it. We try to give them a little freedom, a little education, and a little sympathy. There's a popular notion, isn't there, that delinquents enjoy their criminal activities? This isn't my experience at all. They come to me guilty, broken... One broken victim flicked a V at Leatherthal's back as he sauntered along the corridor. Hair slicked down and parted in three places. A couple of homegrown tattoos on his forearm, unfinished. They've committed criminal acts, however, Redmond pointed out. Yes, but, and must presumably be reminded of the fact. I don't think they need any reminding, Mr. Redman. I think they burn with guilt. She was so hot on guilt, which didn't surprise him. They'd taken over the pulpit, these analysts. They were up to up where the Bible thumpers used to stand, where the threadbare sermons on the fires below, but with a slightly less colorful vocabulary. It was fundamentally the same story, though, complete with the promises of healing. If the rituals were observed... Sorry, if the rituals were observed. And behold, the righteous shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. There was a pursuit on the playing field, he noticed. Pursuit and, and now capture. One victim was laying into another smaller victim with his boot. It was a fairly merciless display. Leverthal caught the scene at the same time as Redman. Uh, excuse me, I must... She started down the stairs. Uh, your 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 workshop is third door on the left if you want to take a look, she called over her shoulder. I'll be right back. Like hell she would. Judging by the way the scene on the field was progressing, it would be a three crowbar job to prize them apart. Uh, Redmond, or pry them apart would be what I thought it would say. Uh, Redmond wandered along to this workshop. The door was locked, but through the wired glass, he could see the benches, the vices, the tools. Not bad at all. He might even teach them some woodwork if he was left alone long enough to do it. A bit frustrated not to be able to get in, he doubled back along the corridor and followed Le Leverthal downstairs, finding his way out easily onto the sunlit playing field. 
A little knot of spectators had grown around the fight and on the massacre, or the massacre, which had now ceased. Leverthal was standing, staring down at the boy on the ground. One of the warders was kneeling at the boy's head. The injuries looked bad. A number of the spectators looked up and stared at the new face as Redman approached. There were whispers among them, some smiles. Redman looked at the boy. Perhaps 16, he lay with his cheek to the ground, as if listening for something in the earth. Lacey. Lever Le Leverthal. I oh, man, that name. Leverthal named the boy for Redman. Is he badly hurt? The man kneeling beside Lacey shook his head. Not too bad. Bit of a fall. Nothing broken. There was blood on the boy's face from his mashed nose. His eyes were closed. Peaceful. He could have been dead. Where's the bloody stretcher? Said the warder. He was clearly uncomfortable on the drought-hardened ground. They're coming, sir, said someone. Remen thought it was the aggressor, a thin lad, about 19. The sort of eyes that could sour milk at 20 paces. Indeed, a small posse of boys was emerging from the main building, carrying a stretcher and a red blanket. They were all grinning from ear to ear. The band of spectators had begun to disperse now that the best of it was over. Not much fun picking up the pieces. Wait, wait, said Redman. No, we need some witnesses here. Who did this? There were a few casual shrugs, but most of them played deaf. They sauntered away as if nothing had been said. Redman said... We saw it from the window. Leverthal was offering no support. Didn't we? He demanded of her. It was far too... It was too far to lay any blame, I think. But I don't want to see any more of this kind of bullying. Do you understand me? She'd seen Lacey and recognized him from the distance. Why not the attacker, too? Redmond kicked himself for not concentrating. Without names and personalities to go with the faces, it was difficult to distinguish between them. The risk of making a misplaced accusation was high, even though he was almost sure of the curdling-eyed boy. This was no time to make mistakes, he decided. This time he'd have to let this issue drop. Leverthal seemed unmoved by the whole thing. Lacey, she said quietly. It's always Lacey. He asked for it, said one of the boys with the stretcher, brushing a sheaf of blonde white hair from his eyes. He doesn't know no better. Ignoring the observation, Leverthal super supervised Lacey's transfer to the stretcher and started to walk back to the main building with red men in tow. It was also casual. Not exactly wholesome, Lacey, she said cryptically, almost by way of explanation. And that was all. So much for compassion. Redman glanced back as they tucked the red blanket around Lacey's still form. Two things happened almost simultaneously. The first, somebody in the group said, That's the pig. The second, Lacey's eyes opened and looked straight into Redman, wide, clear, and true. And that's where we'll stop that. So we're on page 61. I just save it by doing on. Come on, let me just save it like this. Boop. Cool. So we will pick that up next time. Ooh. Let's see what the start is. Mm. Maybe I could go a little bit longer. Let me see what the true length, because I think OBS isn't reporting properly. Do with an echo. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, OBS is missing like half an hour on the clock. So it's been almost five hours. Wow. Okay. You know what? Let's keep going. I I have like maybe another hour in me. Um, yeah, let's take a quick explore around. Let's do a night. 
I'll do one more little bit of reading. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Uh, there's an N. A pagoda. Can't tell if that's anything. I can hear zombies, though. Okay, I should get it going. Ooh, if I get a pick, there's, there's diamonds in there. Whoa. Cool. The only thing bad about being in a snow area is, um... Itch right on the makeup. Um, is if it snows, that seems to make the sh the the game glitch a little bit visually. All right, order of operation. Hello, sir. Yes, 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 yes. I will take all of these things, and you know what? You're gonna trade me. Aha! Now I have twenty cooked chickens. Um, okay, I need to make some tools. <laughs> Excuse me while I break your inner walls down. Here, let's not leave this open. I am not spending the night here. No way. Okay. Basic start, we know what to do. Okay, because we're... What? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Already. What, is it because I took that time? Oh, there was a bench right here? Alright, whatever. Oh. Oh. What? Why do you want to eat me so badly? Oh, hey. Coal. Oh. Is it just the one? Alright. Fuck you. Yes. Okay. Let's finish what we were doing. Wow, that was uh, frightening. Um, that's right. I was digging into this. Three, one, two, three. Amazing. Oh. That I saw something. Um, I need more sticks. Cool. Give me. Here, let's just do this. Give me an. Oh, I didn't mean to do it like that. Fuck. Okay. Three more. More wood. I'm wasting so much time now. Damn it. Cool. There we go. We'll have those all together. Boom. Uh, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Don't need that on the hot bar. Okay. That's all fine. I think I should probably get a boat. Like, build a boat. Why? Why would? Why, why do you fly away from me? What? Oh, I see. Oh, a soldier. Come on. 
string. That's awesome. Okay. That's enough of that. What are they over here for? Oh yeah, the wood. And the wood was for... Oh. Now I can make a boat. You know what? Just use this table. Oh, I know the recipe, fine. <laughs> okay, uh, I should probably take what I can. Um, probably more of the wood department. At least just a little bit more. Let's get out of here. Cool, I got the string. I started over here. Crazy mountains. Tranquil pond. It's freezing over. I don't think there's anything in the pond. Oh, you know what? I should take these as a light source. With that, done. Don't need any of that. Don't waste my time. Oh, shit. Okay, it's gonna be like that, is it? Okay, I have stone tools, so I should keep an eye out for iron. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is fun. Kind of fun, kind of terrifying. Whee! Oh. Okay. Should I bother with this? It's so early. ton of blocks for because uh, there's like zombie guys like almost immediately oh that's convenient Looking for easy loot, easy loot. This one's got spawners, doesn't it? Come on. Is it this room? Oh, 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 so snow leopard meows. Get out of here. Oh. This is lousy for choice right here. On where to go. They're tearing down doors. Oh, no, that's death. Oh, not if I have a boat. What? Damn it. No, I need to get my boat back. <laughs> Fuck. Yes. Oh, the shit right there. Could I, could I even? Oh, shit. Okay, they're breaking out. We go. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we're getting out of there, getting out of there. Oh, shit. Shit's on. Woo. Nerves right now. Okay. Well, definitely got away. Ooh, don't do that. Um, this ain't a great spot either. 
At least I have a light source. Uh, kind of. Let's see. If I can get... Eh, stay still. Here's good. This is fine. Everything will be fine. Okay. Ooh, pretty. That's pretty. Huh. That's pretty cool. Oh, wait. What if I get my thing in my hand? <clears throat> Go whoop. Uh huh. That's pretty good. Okay. Is there anything I can do up here? I can cook, but I don't need to cook anything. Actually, I don't have many resources at all. I'm pretty much just stay put. They don't seem to be spawning on ice, which was something I was curious about. This is good. This is really good. I couldn't survive solely staying in an Arctic area, but I couldn't also stay at ice level because that would be a uh, death from whales and other assholes. But I found a suitable spot where it was like an iceberg near some actual land in a village or something like that. Oh man, I would take that iceberg for a base. Seems like it would be super safe. All right, let's read. I want to keep reading this story. Here, eat an apple. Get that last little bit. Um, let's go like that, like that. Hmm. Oh yeah, Lacey's eyes opened and looked straight into Redmond, wide, clear, and true. Redmond spent a good deal of the next day putting his workshop in order. Many of the tools had been broken or rendered useless by untrained handling. Saws without teeth, chisels were chipped and edgeless, broken vices... He'd need money to resupply the shop with the basics of the trade, but now wasn't the time to start asking. Wiser to wait, and be seen to do a decent job. He was quite used to the politics of institutions. The force was full of it. About 4.30, a bell started to ring, a good way from the workshop. He ignored it, but after a time, his instincts got the better of him. Bells were alarms, and alarms were sounded to alert people. He left his tidying, locked the workshop door behind him, and followed his ears. The bell was ringing in what was uh, laughingly called the hospital unit. Two or three rooms closed off from the main block and uh, prettied up by a few p pictures and curtains at the windows. There was no sign of smoke in the air, so it clearly wasn't a fire. It was shouting, though. More than shouting. A howl. He quickened his pace along the interminable corridors, and as he turned a corner towards a unit, the unit, a small figure ran straight into him. The impact winded both of them, but Redmond grabbed the lad by the arm before he could make off again. The captive was quick to respond, lashing out with his shoeless feet against Redmond's shin. But he did him fast. Let me go, you fucking... I need to borrow again. You fucking... Calm down, calm down. His pursuers were almost there. Hold him! Fucker, fucker, fucker. Hold him. It was like wrestling a crocodile. The kid had all the strength of fear. But the best of his fury was spent. Tears were springing into his bruised eyes as he spat in Redmond's face. It was Lacey in his arms. Unwholesome Lacey. 
Okay, we got him. Redmond stepped back as the warder took over, putting Lacey in a uh, hold that looked fit to break the boy's arm. Two or three others were peering around the corner. Two boys and a nurse, a very unlovely creature. Let me go! Let me go! Lacey was yelling, but any stomach for the fight had gone out of him. A pout came to his face in defeat, and still the cow-like eyes turned up accusingly at Redmond, big and brown. He looked younger than his sixteen years, almost prepubescent. There was a whisper of bum fluff on his cheeks and a few spots amongst the bruises and a badly applied dressing across his nose. But quite a girlish face, a virgin's face, and from an age when there's, there were still virgins. And still the eyes. And still the eyes. Uh, Leverthal had appeared, too late to be of use. What's going on? The warder piped up. The chase had taken his breath and his temper. He locked himself in the lavatories, tried to get out through the window. Why? The question was addressed to the warder, not to the child. A telling confusion. The warder, confounded, shrugged. Why? Redmond repeated the question to Lacey. The boy just stared as though he'd never been asked a question before. You the pig, he suddenly said, snot running from his nose. Pig? He means policeman, said one of the boys. The noun was spoken with a mocking precision as though he was addressing an imbecile. I know what he means, lad, said Redmond, still determined to uh, outstare Lacey. I know very well what he means. Well, are you? Be quiet, Lacey. You're in enough trouble as it is. Yes, son. I'm the pig. The war of looks went on, a private battle between boy and man. You don't know nothing, said Lacey. It wasn't a snide remark. The boy was simply telling his version of the truth. His gaze didn't flicker. All right, Lacey, that's enough. The warder was trying to haul him away. His belly stuck out between pajama top and bottom, a smooth dome of milk skin. Okay. Let him speak, said Redman. What don't I know? He can give us his side of the story to the governor, said Leverthal before Lacey could reply. It's not your concern. But it was very much his concern. The stare made it his concern. So cutting. So damned. The stare demanded that it become his concern. Let him speak, said Redman, the authority in his voice overriding Leverthal. The warder loosened his hold just a little. Why did you try to escape, Lacey? Because he came back. Who came back? A name, Lacey. Who are you talking about? For several seconds, Redmond sensed the boy fighting a pact with the silence. Then Lacey shook his head, breaking the electric exchange between them. He seemed to lose his way somewhere. A kind of puzzlement gagged him. No harm's going to come to you. Lacey stared at his feet, frowning. I want to go back to my bed now, he said. A virgin's request. Hi, Parker, what are you doing with these descriptions? <clears throat> no harm, Lacey, I promise. The problem seemed to have precious little effect. Lacey was struck dumb, but it was a promise nevertheless, and he hoped Lacey realized that. The kid looked exhausted by the effort of his failed escape, of the pursuit, of staring. His face was ashen. He let the water turn him and take him back. Before he rounded the corner, he seemed to change his mind. He struggled to lose himself, failed, but managed to twist himself round to face his interrogator. Hennessy, he said, meeting Redmond's eyes once more. That was all. He was shunted out of sight before he could say anything more. Okay. Well, I said another hour, right? Okay, so some did spawn nearby. I wonder what they spawned on. Like maybe the snow? Yeah, probably the snow. Okay. 
Okay, let's get out of here. <clears throat> oh, see a whale click. Also, whatever the heck that is. Those jellyfish? Maybe? Where is that whale? Oh, okay, it's right there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So don't go that way. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a break that way then. Come on, no, 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 no. I'm not getting taken out by a whale. Please don't come over this way. Thing could smash through the ice and kill me. Come on. Okay. Oh, God damn. Just keep going past it, please. Please don't follow me. Shit. Shit. Staying put? Okay, I'm running. <laughs> uh, I can still hear the clicks. As long as I don't hear breaking ice, I'm okay. Where am I going? Fuck the seagulls. Stuck in a frozen biome, aren't I? Ah, okay, fine. I can hear you, assholes. Oh. Wait for it to come back. Not jumping in for it, you just wait for it. Aha! Uh -huh. Excelsior. Okay, I do want to be closer to land. Go this way? get this right no I can only break it okay ah uh, one of them not going in there not my kind of dungeon I feel like hugging the ice is still a good idea seals are really cute The woods are real dark, though they will definitely spawn there. Oh, there we go. Much faster now. Whoa, what is that? I gotta see. Holy shit. Crazy. Okay. Uh, let's 
get out of here. Come on, keep an eye out for features. Features, features, features. Structures. Oh, I might be losing the uh, the ice biome. Okay, I have enough fried chicken that would last me a while. Not worth it. Orca whistles? Fuck. Let's go for the gate. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no, not playing. Not playing. Okay. Their chest is... Oh, oh. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Is that enough for a portal? No? Okay, let's go. It's something. Oh, fuck being in a forest. Oh. Alright, let's hug this. I'm not going backwards, am I? No. funny big whale just gonna skim past ya oh shit and there's an orca there let's see am I being followed Look like it. Oh. I didn't go in a circle. I just went in a circle. This is that same spot, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Fuck me. Okay. Cool. No. What's my plan now? No, don't you come after me. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Please don't. Ah. I am running so hard. What are you doing, bud? What are you doing, bud? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. This shit's glitching out. I don't need you to... You need to stop paying attention. Okay, I'm gonna take my boat. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Fucking hell. I wish. I knew what was screwing up. Okay. Okay.
They're trying to break out. <clears throat> Which be damned, I gotta go up. Oh, that sound. It's terrible. It's terrible. I hate it. Did you get the other door yet? Get it. Break it. There you go. Now you can calm the fuck down. Okay. What are we doing? I don't have a lot to work with. I can make one bar of iron. Oh, what is happening? Well, this could be real bad. And reload the texture, see if that helps. Let me out. Ooh. Okay. That seems to help. So. Hmm. I see. Or... Oh boy. Okay. We're, we're glitching because it's struggling, maybe? Should I keep going up? Are they getting close to me? I can't tell. Make sure my boat's in my bar there. Yeah, let's just sit here like that. It's gonna be so loud when I tear this down. They're all gonna be there. The mob cat said it like 150 or 200. <laughs> Something ridiculous. Okay. Uh, so an hour would be day three, end of day three. We'll say I'll go to, I'll go to beginning of day four. Probably. Yeah. That sounds fine. <clears throat> it's because I want to keep reading the book. Mm, where the hell are we? Oh yeah, who's Hennessy? Leverthal was a, uh, was lightning, was lighting a cigarette. Her hands were shaking ever so slightly as she did it. He hadn't noticed that yesterday, but he wasn't surprised. He'd yet to meet a head shrinker who didn't have problems of their own. The boy's lying, she said. Hen Hennessy's no longer with us. A little pause. Redmond didn't prompt. It could only make her jumpy. Sorry, it would only make her jumpy. Lacey's clever, she went on, putting the cigarette to her colorless lips. He knows just the spot. Eh? You're new here, and he wants to give you the impression that he's got a mystery all of his own. It isn't a mystery, then? Hennessy? Huh. Good God, no. He escaped custody in early May. He and Lacey... She hesitated without wanting to. He and Lacey had something between them. Drugs, perhaps. 
We never found out. Blue sniffing, mutual masturbation, God knows what. She really did find the whole subject unpleasant. Distaste was written all over her face in a dozen tight places. How did Hennessy escape? We still don't know. He just didn't turn up for roll call one morning. The place was searched from top to bottom, but he'd gone. Is it possible he'd come back? A genuine laugh. <laughs> Jesus, no. Hated the place. Besides, how could he get in? Well, he got out. Le 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 Leverthal conceded the point with a mummer. He wasn't especially bright, but he was cunning. I wasn't altogether surprised when he went missing. The few weeks before his escape, he'd really sunk into himself. I couldn't get anything out of him, and up until then, he'd been quite talkative. And Lacey? Under his thumb. It often happens. Younger boy idolizes an older, more experienced individual. Lacey had a very unsettled f family background. Neat, thought Redman. So neat he didn't believe a word of it. Mines weren't pictures at an ex exhibition, all numbered, and hung in order of influence, one marked, cunning, the next, impressionable. They were scrawls, they were sprawling splashes of graffiti, unpredictable, unconfinable. And little boy Lacey? He was written on water. Classes began the next day in a heat, in a heat so oppressive it turned the workshop into an oven by eleven. But the boys responded quickly to Redmond's straight dealing. They recognized in him a man they could respect without liking. They expected no favors and received none. It was a stable arrangement. Redmond found the staff on the whole on the whole less communicative than the boys. An oddball bunch all in all, not a strong heart amongst them, he decided. The routine of Therodown, its rituals of classification, of humiliation, seemed to grind them into a common gravel. Increasingly, he found himself avoiding conversation with his peers. The workshop became a sanctuary, a home from home, smelling of newly cut wood and bodies. It was not until the following Monday that one of the boys mentioned the farm. Nobody had told him there was a farm in the grounds of the center, and the idea struck Redman as absurd. Oh, well, nobody much uh, goes down there, said Creeley, one of the worst woodworkers on God's earth. It stinks. General laughter. All right, lad, settle down. The laughter subsided, laced with a few whispered jabs. Where's the farm, Creeley? Oh, it's not even a farm, really, sir said Creeley, chewing his tongue and incessant routine. It's just a few huts. Stink they do, sir, especially now. He pointed out at the window to the wilderness beyond the playing field. Since he'd last looked out at that site the first day with Le Leverthal, the wasteland had r ripened in the sweaty heat, ranker with weeds than ever. Creeley pointed out a distant brick wall all but hidden behind a shield of shrubs. See it, sir? Yeah, I see it. That's the sty, sir. <laughs> Another round of sniggers. What's so funny? He wheeled on the class. A dozen heads snapped down to their work. I wouldn't go down there, sir. It's high as a fucking kite. Uh, is it time? Yeah, it's about time. Let's get an early start on this day, at that break. Let's see how bad it is. Oh my god. I mean... I didn't expect much, but... Oh, almost wish I had like a splash potion of fire, something, something, damn, flaming bow, bucket of lava.
Some of them are getting crushed and dying? Wow. Hmm. I think there's a way to do this. Make it over the damn wall. You have builders. Just need them to build over that damn wall. Even like by accident. Oh. Almost. Fuck, even the ones breaking... Ah. Uh, even the ones that are breaking blocks aren't breaking the wall blocks. This is hilarious. Oh, there you go. Wait, was that... Was that it? Can they get out now? Huh. Interesting. Okay. I'm gonna stop playing with them. Um... I guess I could use a boat to get off of this. I could probably recover most of my wood, though. Okay, that was the right block. Or are they going after an orca? Holy shit. Holy shit. That's <laughs> some World War Z shit right there. Oh. Uh. Wow. Come on, you can make it. You can make it, Willy. Don't fight back. Don't fight back. Keep going. You can't, you can't, you can't take them out. Oh, damn. He's doomed. Or they're doomed, rather. I don't know the gender of that creature. I mean, I'm just going to make myself more appetizing, boys. You got builders amongst you. Why can't you manage to do this? I need to get away from here. Whee! Quick awesome quick escape. Okay, let's go. Wow. Oh, fuck off. That was loud. Come on. The woods are just full of these assholes. Can you just fuck off for two seconds? I need to put my bow to my hand. Okay, bye. Ah. I've not really been able to find good resources or anything. Hmm. 
Nope, 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 not today. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, I know this area. <laughs> I feel like I've been here a few times. Same set of seals on the same beach. No! Did I lose my boat in the same spot? I don't want to wait for it, <laughs> so I'm not going to. All right, I already have two axes. We're good. Okay. It's action music. Let's get the fuck out of here. Ooh. Big ass pirate ship. Oh, this is so hard. It's going to be so dangerous, but there is a good payoff. Get this. There we go. What we want. Oh, nope. Is not there. Do not get spotted. Jeez. That would suck. Okay. Okay, we gotta go up a little bit. Okay. And then it's like... It's like right here, I think. There it is. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, fuck yeah. Bundles. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, we gotta get out of here, but not die with all this cool stuff. That was smooth. Look at that. Precision strike. I gotta remember that spot every time now. There's a ton of stuff in that place, but fuck it. Okay, let's put that sword in my hand. Hell yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm trying to go around you, Mr. Whale. I'm trying to go around you there, whale. As long as we don't get a skillywag. I, I don't think there's anything I could do about it. I would be dead instantly. I don't know how to get away from them. I can try to fight it. Treasure? Yeah, okay. Sure. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay, that's some stuff, that's some stuff. Oh, we're getting, we're getting faster at this. Put some of this on. Oh, that had respiration? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Uh, boots, put those on. Oh, oh, pants? Do you got some pants? Sure, I'll take your pants. Is that it? Yep, yeah. okay, go, 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 go. Considering where the sun is, I'm staying on that boat tonight. It should be mostly safe, actually. Oh. Another lost boat. Fuck it. <laughs> okay. We got some beef, some fish. Okay. I need to start bundling some of this. Is this raw? Raw? Okay. Let's bundle up the raw stuff. Okay, so there's my raw meats. 
What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Is that random shit fine? Oh yeah, they're freeing up all kinds of spots now. Oh, amazing. Give that to them. Uh, amazing. I have four diamonds. Oh, I, you know what? Okay, it's getting it's getting to be dark. I can do this after. Do I have? I don't have. Shit, where's that? Full. Torches stat. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Here, I'll let you in. I'll let you in. There. Get in there. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's make sure this is lit up enough. Okay. Okay, I feel better about that. Cool, let's go back to... Ooh, bucket! Yes, bucket. Hell yes, bucket. One emerald chair. I've had I've had a death once where the whale just came in and just started destroying this boat and I was in the way. Just wrecking it. Okay. I gotta get these things and then just set up to read. It should be safe here, in fact. Oops. There we go. Edible blocks. Thank you. Nom 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 nom. Uh, let's make it an easier way down here. Actually safe in here for a bit. Let's just stare out the window. It's the drowned gurgle. This is the yeah. This is the last night for reading. So let's just get crack on, as they say. Boom. Boom. Creeley wasn't exaggerating. Even in the relative cool of the late afternoon, the smell wafting off the farm was stomach turning. Hold on, I need to turn this so I can actually see. There we go. <clears throat> Redmond just followed his nose across the field and past the outhouses. The buildings he glimpsed from the workshop window were coming out of hiding. A few ramshackle huts thrown up out of corrugated iron and rotting wood, a chicken run, and the brick-built sty were all the farm could offer. As Creeley had said, it wasn't a f really a farm at all. It was a tiny domesticated statue. Hmm? De Chow. De Chow? Filthy and forlorn, somebody obviously fed the, pris uh, the few prisoners, the hens, the half-dozen geese, the pigs, but nobody seemed bothered to clean them out. Hence that rotten smell. The pigs particularly were living in a bed of their own ordure, islands of dung cooked to perfection in the sun, peopled with thousands of flies. 
The sty itself was divided into two separate compartments, divided by a high brick wall. In the forecourt of one of one, a small mottled pig lay on its side in the filth, its flank alive with ticks and bugs. Another smaller pig could be glimpsed in the gloom of the interior, lying on a shit-thick straw. Neither showed any interest in Redmond. The other compartment seemed empty. There was no excrement in the forecourt and far fewer flies amongst the straw. The accumulated smell of old fecal matter was no less acute, however, and Redmond was about to turn away when there was a noise from within, from inside, and a great bulk righted itself. He leaned over the padlock, padlocked wooden gate, blotting out the stench by the active wheel and peered through the doorway of the sty. The pig came out to look at him. It was three times the size of his companions, a vast sow that might well have mothered the pigs in the adjacent pen. But where her furrow were filthy flanked, the sow was pristine. Her blushing pink frame radiant with good health, her sheer size impressed Redman. She must have weighed twice what he weighed, he guessed, an altogether formidable creature, a glamorous animal in her, own, in her gross way, with her curling blonde lashes and the delicate down of her shiny snout that coarsened to bristles around her lolling ears, and the oily, fetching look in her dark brown eyes. Redman, a city boy, had seldom seen the living truth behind or previous to the meat on his plate. This wonderful porker came as a revelation. The bad press he, that he'd always believed about pigs, the reputation that made the very name a synonym for foulness, all that was given the lie. The sow was beautiful, from her snuffling snout to the delicate corkscrew of her tail, a seductress on trotters. Okay, but simmer down. Her eyes regarded Redman as an equal. He had no doubt of that, admiring him rather less than he admired her. She was safe in her head, he and his. They were equal under a glittering sky. Close to her body smelled sweet. Somebody had clearly been there that very morning, sluicing her down and feeding her. Her trough, Redman now noticed, still brimmed with a mush of slops, the remains of yesterday's meal. She hadn't touched it. She was no glutton. Oh my god. Soon she seemed to ha have the sum of him. The grunting quietly, and grunting quietly, she turned around on her nimble feet and returned to the cool of the interior. The audience was over. The night, that night, he went to find Lacey. The boy had been removed from the hospital unit and put in a shabby room of his own. He was apparently still being bullied by the other boys in his dormitory, and the alternative was... Uh, this solitary confinement. Redmond found him sitting on a carpet of old comic books staring at the wall. The lurid covers of the comics made his face look milkier than ever. The bandage had gone from his nose and the bruise on the bridge of was yellowing. He shook Lacey's hand and the boy gazed up at him. There was a real turn about since their last meeting. Lacey was calm, even docile. The handshake a ritual Redmond had introduced whenever he met boys out of the workshop, was weak. You well? The boy nodded. You like being alone? Yes, sir. We'll have to go back to the dormito dormitory eventually. Lacey shook his head. Well, you can't stay here forever, you know. Oh, I know that, sir. You'll have to go back. Lacey nodded. Somehow the logic didn't seem to have got through to the boy. He turned up the corner of a Superman comic and stared at the splash page without scanning it. Listen to me, Lacey. I want you and I to understand each other. Yeah? Yes, sir. I can't help you if you lie to me, can I? No. Why? Did you mention Kevin Hennessy's name to me last week? I know that he isn't here any longer. He escaped, didn't he? Lacey stared at the three-color hero on, his, on the page. Didn't he? He's here, said Lacey, very quietly. The kid was suddenly distraught. It was in his voice and in the way his face folded on itself. Okay, we gotta stop there. It's day four. I think my throat's giving out. 
Okay, so page 66. Okay, let's close this. Let's close that. Hey, boys. And this is where we're going to call it. Boom. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. We got... Well, we didn't quite make it to 15 days. I think we made the best was... 13? 10? 12? Something like that? Wasn't what is it as far as I like? But that's just sometimes how it goes. And I got I still need to look into what mod caused the crash that happened earlier in the uh, stream. But anyway, um, there won't be a. Hmm. Yeah. Let's switch to that. Um. There's not going to be. Oh, that's better. Uh, there's not going to be a Wonderland stream tomorrow, um, just because it's Halloween and we're going to be hanging out together and doing stuff in person uh, with Omega Al and uh, and uh, Rat Sandwich. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be fun. I think mean, this was a test of some makeup. I'm going to do my eyes up for tomorrow, shave my get, get everything all pretty and 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 glamorous. This was my like test for tonight and good enough for stream, I think. But uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. This will be up on YouTube uh, in a week or two. Um, and yeah, I want to get back to this as, as often as I can because I'm having a lot of fun reading the Books of Blood. I'm having a lot of fun going through these horror scenarios, trying to survive the massive amount of zombies. Um, I might still look into a couple of mods to see if I can balance things out just a little bit more since I noticed some things are broken still, so work in progress but uh yeah till next time take care of yourselves and each other and have a good night oh uh, we should see if there's uh, anybody to, to to raid if there's anybody in my chat let's see uh no, two streamers that absolutely are way too big to raid, and Bob Ross, no. Alright, cool, whatever. Okay, then, for real this time. Good night. <laughs>